I put you in the title. No, no, no. That's, it's it's all good. I'm. I've got a break and rest, and I'm probably gonna be coughing a bit. So I'll be on mute every now and again. That's okay. But uh, I appreciate that. Though. We've been playing with Christina, who's been coughing for the last month. So it's... Oh damn. Go for it. Let your let your lungs <laughs> breathe. Uh... <laughs> Streaming OSRS. Um, don't know how many people are even gonna bother watching. Let's see. Yeah, RuneScape's a tough one, um, I've found. People liked it but, when uh, I started. They were like, oh, this is a fun gimmick, but then they didn't want to watch longer than that. Yeah, it's, I felt like when I was streaming RuneScape, you kind of, kind of got to choose your content wisely, because a grind is okay, but <laughs> it's like how many hours have people wanted to watch me smith for, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I I streamed a lot of um, like the quests when I was doing my main, and I was brand oh, new. Yeah. I hadn't played RuneScape since I was like a fucking child. Um, that was all broadcasted because that was good content. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, I think I streamed shit like my Fire Cape and like Song of the Elves and that sort of thing. But I tried not to stream yeah. Slayer. Oh, fair enough. And on my I iron, think... I've barely done anything. Yeah. When when I was a hardcore, even when I did like. You did God you Wars, know... right? I remember watching yeah, a bit so, of that. Yeah, yeah, even if even but that's the thing, even when I did like the more exciting content where there's like risk there, I'm just dead silent trying to focus on not, <laughs> not dying, so um, it's stressful. But yeah. Yeah, it can be, yeah. Um I, I mean I I died on my hardcore in a pretty bad way, to be honest. It was my fault. But um What happened again? With, uh I was just playing after midnight, killing Hydra. It was my last slayer task, so I got all the items from it and I was just standing on the poison pool trying to chase a PB, just being a bit goofy and got stacked out because I didn't switch my prayers in time. Jesus. Um, <laughs> it took me, I didn't play for like a year after that, to be honest. But Yeah. <laughs> um, but then when you consider like what JGX servers are like, they probably would have got me eventually anyway. So. Yeah. It's, well, at uh, some point you would have just disconnected at something stupid. Yeah, zombie I mean, I had a couple Mortania. of close calls. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think the first, the 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 biggest one was when I did the waterfall quest. Um, <laughs> no, the grand the grand tree quest. The demon almost one hit me because I was trying to safe spot it. Oh god. I I was not in a safe spot. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's been a few disconnects or like server lags where you know where where you lag in the server. And yeah. you suddenly see like six hits from the monster hit you all at once. I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like a couple of those where I've just luckily not been stacked out, but just poo yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yoma. Uh, hey, you're the viewer today. Nice to see you. <laughs> um are we just waiting on Spirit then? Um is is he streaming? He's playing WoW a lot recently. I think he has a raid later, he said. Not streaming. Um, have we decided what roles we might want to do? Because I, I need to do one of each. Because I think the torso is like three, what, 370 something points or something? Yeah, 375 of each role. Um, I also need the torso, so. Oh, do you not have one on your iron? I don't have one, no. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I don't know about Spirit's iron. I feel like Spirit doesn't have one either. Um, I also need... I guess I can just killing the queen lets me buy the granite body, right? You don't need to do anything else. Okay, um, we'll just wait for spirit then. Um, let's have a look at these plugins then. Um, it was like Barb... Barbarian Assault you can just turn on, but there was the ground markers yeah. one, right? I think 
for the attack roll, the wiki recommends you just use full range void and a magic bow imbued if you have it. Um, I've got. That'll do. Just uh, I've just got the imbued uh, bow. I haven't done pest control yet. I wanted to wait oh, until no, I did some enough. combats first because you get more points, right? Yeah. No. Fair enough. Um, I suppose it depends on your depends on your range level as well. Um, but I think they recommend ranged if you've got a decent level, just because you can obviously hit stuff from further away and you've got all the attack styles you need with uh with the short bow. Oh, I'll do that. But, um, what what what's your range level? It's sixty eight, but I've got that classic like early game Iron Man setup. Um, I can't equip my black dehyde yet because I'm yeah. sixty eight. Oh, sixty eight. So I've got to. I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, we're all in five oh. Six uh, at Barbasol. Okay. I have oh. the uh, extremely funny. Uh, I am an Iron Man, by the way. Uh, <laughs> range yeah, you, yeah, you, you, on, I feel really bad. You might be better off in your mic. I'm just That's... looking at you. <laughs> I'm just looking at your range stuff. I don't. I don't know for sure, but I think it's just because it's just because you can hit stuff from far away and you're not really wasting any ticks. Not that it matters, you know. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see. My personal chef has come to deliver dinner. We, Chris and I just went to the supermarket and got some posh pasta and some mozzarella sticks and garlic bread. And I realised, fuck, I have ten minutes until RuneScape, so I've shoved them all in the oven. And she's graciously plated them. I think I think I'll be getting the same treatment soon with sweet potato. <laughs> Hell yeah! I've also got beer. <laughs> okay, got I can't top that. Double hazy brew dog today. Nice. Mm. I got a job offer today, Strife. I was... We don't chat much. I was made redundant a couple months ago. Oh, sorry, dude. That sucks. Uh, it does suck. I've, got ma I've been made redundant from most of my jobs. <laughs> um, but uh, I got an offer, like, this morning while I was asleep. I got woken up by my phone, and I was like, oh, hello, who's this? <laughs> and they were like, oh, you want this, this job that you thought you wouldn't get uh, really liked you, and they're going to give it to you. So now I'm just waiting for the contract. Nice. That's awesome. That's it's awesome to wake up to. What's it's a good the, uh, break. What's the nature of the role, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a app developer, so it's um, it's adjacent to like mobile app development. But it's oh, more, sick. it's less like public apps that people download and use, and more like um, the back end, like SDKs and whatever. I can't be too yeah. specific, because I will dox myself. It's really no, easy to probably no, no, search. That, 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 that's what. That's why I asked the question <laughs> carefully. I don't, you know, I'm gonna be like, who do you work for, like, or who you, who's the job for? I can DM um, you if you're yeah. curious, but um, yeah, no, no, it's that's, uh... an enormous shot in the dark. I didn't even apply for it, and the job didn't exist. It's, it's really odd. Like, like I, yeah. I, I was I was approached by a recruiter for something that I was like about ten years too young for. Was this the PogChamp guy? This is the PogChamp guy. I got a text on LinkedIn that said "new job PogChamp," and I was so close to ignoring it. I'm very glad I didn't. Hell yeah. Dude, uh, that's yeah. the thing, like, I, I need to make a LinkedIn ASAP. One of my one of my friends, um, he does, like, DevOps, and he's been asking me to apply for a junior cloud um, cloud engineer role, which I'm probably going to take my shot at. But, um, yeah, I, uh, yeah I'll, I'll DM you. I'll tell you what I do in a DM later. But Brilliant. it's like I've literally only just got my first IT job earlier in 2023 so i'm trying to just progress from there really welcome to the, the comfy life of horrible eye strain back <laughs> pain and well, probably an early death yeah I mean, <laughs> i've got a fancy herman miller chair at home but the problem oh. is my, my but i don't get any home working i'm in the office five days a week so you know well lucky hopefully lucky. hopefully eventually i'll uh you know get some home working hours in it's a it's a fucking roller coaster of a few years, huh? Are you ha are you you're happy where you currently are? Um, yeah, it's walking distance. Um, small team, very lax manager. Nice. Um, there's just no real career progression. That's the only thing. And um, yeah, I'm doing like an apprenticeship alongside it, so picked up a few qualifications and whatnot. But Ooh. uh, yeah, I was basically in the um, what do you call it? What's the industry for, um... Rachel, what industry did I work in before? Customer service. Yeah, I've been in customer service for years and years. Just yeah. 
just because just to pay the bills really but um i was like oh, enough's enough picked up that um earlier last year so you're happy to have moved <laughs> careers away from customer oh, service 100 percent. yeah because it's like i worked at tesco's for like four years just because i was fresh out of uni just you know wanted to stay in london and I'm a sensitive guy, so like you can have a hundred great customers, but that, that that one terrible one just ruins your day. So, yeah. yeah. My but, um, my worst working experiences, short of the like you know redundancy stuff, um, it's always been when I've had to handle anything remotely, public relations or customer service. Mm, um, yeah. I had the the joy of working in Waitrose for a bit while I was a student. Yeah, but fuck me, people are horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, especially like Gen X boomers, they don't know where the semolina flower is, and they'll let you know. Oh lord. Um, I had my my first job. I think I worked in like a uniform shop. You remember, uh, were you, when you were like fifteen? Did you do work experience at school? Uh, yeah, I didn't get any of the things I asked for, and they put me in a nursery. I think so. It's not. Is that so yeah. bad? Sounds okay. Uh, no, it was it was it was pretty chill to be fair. Um, Are you? But like oh, some of my friends had really nice placements. Like ended up at some cool companies. Actually, you know, learning. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was chill. Sorry, I'm eating mozzarella sticks. They're really fucking good. I'm so happy I picked them up. Um, Understandable. My first, uh, my first job, I couldn't get one for um, myself, and my mum went to a uniform shop to pick up like a jumper for one of my siblings and asked them if they could just take me, and they did. So I worked a whole summer in a, like a school uniform shop, and as like a fifteen-year-old with a couple of much older ladies, and they treated me like dog shit. <laughs> they they made me do much more manual labour than I could um, as like a weak little nerd, just carrying massive boxes, and I guess I'll do Defender. Um, because that's the hardest one, or is it the healer? I might as well get out of the way. Um, I, oh, I think defender's the one that people have most difficulty with. Yeah. Um, I remember it being like a one four a one as well. Uh, we we can do it. We need to do the queen run a couple of times, Tom. So you'll do it maybe the next time. Okay, I mean, there's five people in four roles, so you tend to have two attackers, I think, right? Something like that, yeah. Oh, hey, Spirit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm not after anything myself, so anything that helps the team out, if you want to change it, like, mid... Are you... Uh, on your account, I'm guessing you have, like, full achievement diaries, right? Uh, Yeah, I'm level 5 in all the roles, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I don't... There, there are items I don't have, but I'm not... Oh, fuck! Not bothered. Panic! We started! I was eating... Oh, God. I was eating mozzarella sticks. I'm eating kebab pizza. Okay. Meat is Very good. delectable. Wait, hang on. I picked up the right thing. Oh, fuck. No, this is defend. Wait, this is right. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure I'm meant to do four good, one bad, four good, one bad. I think that's right. But you, you drop. I, I don't even know about that dropping bad food um, tactic. Yeah, fair play. Oh, You're more the advanced fang than doesn't me. have a controlled. I, I, I'm stuff. loosely remembering. I got um, significantly carried by, I think, Linux or someone last time I was doing this. Um, I haven't even been Tomu. I don't remember. Sorry, sorry, I'm ignoring your chat. I'm, I'm, um, uh, 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 stupid. LinkedIn works, yeah. It, it it does work apparently, especially if you reply to the new job PogChamp guy. Hang on, the <laughs> penance runner's already gotten past. How? How they got? There's gotten... a pen penance ranger. Oh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, hang oh, on, I'm working. I'm the defender. I. Hang on. Oh fuck. I keep forgetting to call. It's been so long since I've done. Chomp chomp. Hmm, part of me. God, I'm being a terrible teammate. Uh, it's really hard to think while I'm doing this, huh? Look at those, look at those runners. Oh, shit. They're, they're kind of beefy boys. Uh, yeah, I think you're just meant to drop a thing they hate, right? You hate words, you should be turning back, right? Yeah. 
Okay. I've imported, I've imported tile markers and there's like two red ones and two green ones. I'm guessing red means bad, green means good, but I don't know for sure. Um, well, I haven't gotten uh, the job yet. I've been offered it, but there's no contract. Hang on, I th they're meant to run away from bad food, right? Need to drop the, f the food that uh, Tomu is uh, listing, and then they will run to it and then go chomp chomp. Yeah. I, I have my tile markers from before, where you're meant to try and lead them over this saw blade to the side. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe he'll... Yeah, you're, you're... Oh, he seems to yeah, be good. Yeah, your tile markers look... look it, fine. They he's pretty old. Lure it in with a Tesco meal deal. Oh, fuck. Uh, crackers. Just put like 50 on the floor. Oh, Can't say that on Twitch. Oh, fuck, I'm racist. I knew it. <laughs> uh, what's it? Oh, oh, just the the briefest with the um the uniform might, job. A um, woolen racist. That's not an emo. <laughs> 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 it's not an emo. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> that is not an emo. <laughs> um, the uniform thing. I just got like horribly overworked as like a youth, um, like classic, and we had like so many horrid parents come in. It just really put me off the whole thing. Um, After this wave, I'm gonna have to go grab a different weapon because I don't have a controlled one on me. Oh, I was gonna say. I remember when I did this before with this Iron Man clan. I'm in. They said there's an etiquette not to run down the middle because yeah. it messes up the pathing of stuff. Apparently. Oh, maybe um, that's why they weren't going. You walk down the right hand side, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I got the wrong. That's not. Good. Um. Yeah, I just remember there was something not to run down the middle because it, I think it messes up the runners, which is what you want to kill, essentially. Is it just, is it just me or speaking Wally? My internet's dying as well. I think it's Discord, I'm going to guess. Yeah, it's called Boop. Oh, God. Hang on, I need to put something by the front door to really get him away. Please, come on, come this way. Tofu. Tofu. Uh. I don't even think there's any benefit to me picking up these eggs. Like, I don't think I get extra points. I'm gonna assume this is why he's going towards the gate when he shouldn't be, right? I thought I remember the defender rolling. If you if you get the tile markers right, it should be quite easy. Um, you're you're gonna go away from that blur, yeah. But now he's gonna go in, right? No, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Crackers. I think they repel like a specific distance before they act interested. Is he again? not getting caught? Know. Dude. He needs repairing. Oh fuck, you're meant to fix it? <laughs> oh no, I had no idea that it got it broke. I don't have a hammer. What am I meant to fix it with? Uh they, they have a hammer and logs at yeah, the top of the map. Oh I didn't realise it broke. My bad. It's always it's always it's always worth picking up like two logs and a hammer. Where are the other oh, up here? Yeah, I had the hammer apparently. Okay. Yeah, this is. I guess it's a good thing I did defender first because I'm. I never shut up, so at least we can all see. <laughs> what can go wrong? There's a there's a runner in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's chomping away. Uh. He wants worms, so I'm run, gonna put not worms me. over here. Raw, I'm spooky. Raw. Yeah, that's right, run. Fear me. How long do the stuff stay on the floor? Is it normal item despawn times? I think it just lasts. That's yeah, sorry if I'm ignoring you, Twitch chat. Once oh, I get on an easier move. roll, I can... Move, runner. Ra. See? He's, he's scared of me. Oh fuck, it's Tofu now. Every time I take a step closer to him, he just keeps waddling. <laughs> That's right, r run into the trap. Is he going in? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm gonna quickly run and grab a weapon. Yeah, take that, your time. That, is, that has uh, controlled. So BRB, I'll be like a minute. I'm also yoink, yoink, yoinking uh, Tomu's primordial boots. Oh shit. <laughs> Taking his prims. I just... Uh, Oh my god, I, I just saw on my on my second monitor on my Twitter feed 
<laughs> a bunny that was called that's called liberal. Oh, cute. That's awesome. And then the, and the top pose is uh, of the bunny ch chewing up a Pokemon card. What emote's that, Tom? Uh, party. Is that Caramel Dancing? That's brilliant. I don't have a fancy one. I have, I have this one. I think it's from a Christmas event or an anniversary event. Ah, um, oh, I need to start doing those. I've missed so many, so many items. I have returned. I did the most recent one just so I could use... Oh, hello. Um, I did the most recent ones just so I could even unlock the items in case I want to go back to like Winter Top. Alright. How's um, Twitch chat's life going? Oh, probably not. Run down the middle. Oh fuck, I'm stupid. <laughs> I went to immediately go grab the logs because that was my mistake last time. <laughs> That's so good. I think, I think there were a couple of us that went down the middle. We're fine. Uh, one, uh, two, three. One, two, well, oh, Tofu. Oh, shit, sorry. Does anyone know if it takes away from your points if I help you kill the runners? Like with my eggs or? I don't know how it works. Try it. I think I remember getting told off for doing that before. I won't tell you off. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going for like fast times or a lot yeah. of points, I, I just need the so. Is he still going to the exit? He should be coming to, to my tofu. Reverse parasocial relationship fail. Maybe if you'd have been re leading chat you'd know how you're feeling. Well, you know what? You're stinky. Sorry. Um, someone had to say it. Come on. Come over here. They don't give a shit, do they? Over here. Bloody god. Dropped so much tofu in front of the gate, you're not gonna like. <laughs> hor horrid place. I actually love, love class. tofu. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. Um, now, now I have a, a future. I can, I can work. I can go to IKEA and buy a sofa. It's truly, truly a life-changing event. <laughs> this should be okay. Would you be my blow high? Is that is that a good thing? <laughs> it, 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 it's it's the it's the little uh, little shark plushie. Oh, blahage. Yes. Wait, is it blohai in Swedish? Yeah, blohai. God, I've been mispronouncing it all these years. I'm so blahage. Sorry. I've been calling it blahage because it's. I'm a, I'm it's a how it... to blahage. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. It sounds like you're trying to speak French on the lead du <laughs> Have you had the cheese blahage? Mmm, lovely blahage. Oh yeah. Contains traces of shark. Oh yeah, just kill it. We just send, we just kill the runner with a nuclear strike. <laughs> what have right. you done? Uh, defense. Let's, run, Let's run down the middle this it. time. Let's see. If, let's see if it looks any different for us. I don't know for sure, but I'm down. Promise, I'm not racist. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> We've tried streaming TF2 recently, and my oh. God, there are some troublesome members of that community. If people. I had someone ask me if I was live the other day, and when I said yes, they just, you know, just, said just, just bad just words. Horrible. Terrible yeah. people. <laughs> like, cool, man. It's a little upsetting because I'm like, I didn't have this much trouble when I was streaming it like full time. It, was, it wasn't so bad. Yeah, I mean, the thing that bothers me the most, I think, is a lot of the people that I like that, they're, they're fully grown adults. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't understand how people have regressed that much that they think that's how they should behave online when they're like 20 plus years of age. I mean, even if you're young, it's still inexcusable, but... People are a bit more stupid uh, when they're young. You can at least forgive them for yeah. a little bit. I think people get the anim the anon anonymity? The anonymousness of being online gets to people's heads a bit. Hmm, yeah. That was quick. Yeah, but it, isn't it also on like... Uh... 
at least in America, the whole like digital footprint stuff. Uh, yeah. Like people get tracked online. No, but I oh, think the, it's, I, I think yeah. they usually do some stuff like that for like college and or job applications, right? Oh, you have to have like a social media account. Not like, not like I think they look up what you've posted and stuff. I'm not I'm not sure how the whole thing works since we don't have it over here. <laughs> I think you're right. I remember hearing about that. Well, like you'll apply for a job and they'll see that your MySpace account you you liked Blink One Eighty Two <laughs> and they're like, ah, well this is. More of a more of a Green Day sort of company, and you're like, oh shit, this is not gonna fit. Or like you you post it on Twitter, heck. Ex fucking excuse me, spirit. No, <laughs> be nice. He buys the cheese and on <laughs> the cheese and onion sandwich meal deal. I mean, let's be honest. Aww. If you're gonna give me a cheese and onion, maybe, maybe. I I still regret not getting a cheese and onion uh, bake when I was in the UK. Well, you know, some of us can't all would be winners, right? Uh, oh, it's tofu. I get when I went to the UK for the second time in September because my friend was getting married, I made it my goal to visit the Greggs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Greggs. The expectation. Surely uh, well, I, I I got the chicken bake. I mean, it tasted fine, but it it was all goo. I could probably got like two pieces of chicken in there. Yeah, Greg's is renowned for its quality. I think. Is he in? Uh, oh, it's broken. Yeah, repair it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little, a little stupid. It, it was fun going to my first ever UK football game, though. Oh yeah. You know, I've never yeah. been to a football game. We went You're to a championship me. game. Who was playing? Uh, Sheffield Wednesday versus Sunderland. That's oh, nice. pretty cool. Who were you egging for? Well, well me and me and my friends, uh, like, uh, like hey, my friend's dad, the one who was getting married, he uh, he uh, took us to the game because he's a big like Sheffield uh, Wednesday fanatic. Yep. And uh, yeah, it was it was great fun, like drinking uh, some beers and eating burgers from from a food truck. That's really <laughs> but cool. the, the, but they lost really hard. And I also remember, like, during the, like, for some reason, during the wedding party, like, when we were at the restaurant, uh, <clears throat> uh, my uh, my friend's dad had the idea of, because, uh, like, him and, uh, the, like, the family know that I love ice hockey, right? So they yeah. want, so they brought us also to an ice hockey game. That's really cool. It, you, you... it was, it was great fun, yeah. You're quite a sporty lad, aren't you? Sporty in terms of uh, you watch sports. I do, yeah. And you call yourself a RuneScape player. Yeah, can you imagine? I can't imagine having uh, an online personality over just playing video games. It's bizarre to me. Well, I've seen that near my job. There's a rock climbing area, so I'm wondering, wondering if I could become that guy. Like, indoor rock climbing is kind of sick. Maybe that could be my personality. I think wool buff could happen. I I enjoyed um, I enjoyed the gym when I was younger. I'm not old, but like when I was younger, years ago, I had a bit more free time. It was it was a good like mental health break was to just go and sit on the fucking rowing machine and listen to podcasts for a few hours. I really like um, the QI podcast, like the one by the QI elves. Was it called? No such thing as a fish. Yeah. Have we done it? Uh, there's still one? a few healers wandering around. That's just the healers. I can't believe Tom is last. Dude, this um, <laughs> <laughs> this pumpkin tortellini, well, not pep tortellini, what's the pasta that's like a little sandwich of pasta with a thing in it? Uh, a ravioli. sandwich of pasta? Like a filled pasta. I mean, it, yeah, there's like ravioli. This might be Tort raviolas. Tortellini is also a filled pasta. This might. This is giving me strong tortellini energy. Go on, sorry. Oh, sorry, no. I, I was talking to someone else. Oh, my phone's going off. Now I'm playing RuneScape. Now is not the time to be talking to me, unless it's my. I don't know. The door hasn't rung, has it? Okay. I was waiting for a delivery all day. Uh, that's no, okay. 
I want to. You can take them if you like, yeah. If you want. I just only oh, snack. Thank you. Oh my god, I just found found a bunny literally loaf into a pancake. Oh fuck, I forgot to grab, grab a hammer. I was trying to fix it. It, it might be tortellini. Oh, the I, had the, I had the gnocchi the other day. Ooh, I love gnocchi. They are very, very tasty. Apparently they're quite easy to make. I've never tried. Yeah, it, it's just uh, p uh, Potato. boiled potatoes and flour. Yeah. Like you just mash it up. Then okay. you roll it out in into a big, big sausage. And then you just cut them up. Do you do the, the thumb technique? You like roll them into a little shape with your thumb. I've never, I've never made the homemade the gnocchi. But I know, I think I know roughly how to make them. Just let, make them into little, little pillows. You know, the Thank ones you. where you go ZZZ. I do ZZZ on the pillows, yes. I do love it. Love the ZZZ. It oh, these games are starting so quick. They're very comfy. Oh, you know what the first thing, my first big investment's gonna be? Um, I'm gonna buy, like, a proper mattress for the first time in my life. What have you been sleeping on? Uh, sort of mid-cheap range IKEA mattress. Hey, don't this IKEA mattresses. They're good, but Chris complains a lot about a back hurt. I'm thinking maybe we buy, like, a proper mattress. It's meant to be, like, the, one of those big upgrades in life, right? The first oh, time yeah. you buy, like, a proper... You have a nice one, Strife. Uh, yeah, I've had an Emma one, a Casper one, and they've both been really good. I've never had any problems, but... Um, they always do discounts like all throughout the year, so I don't know what is their real price, <laughs> what's actually a good deal, but... Um, it's a classic yeah, tube advert quite... mattress. Yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> I also hear really good things about them. I don't know what we can get in Den Edelands, though. I feel like they might sell some of those sorts of things over here. Um, I want to get one that's like larger than my arm. Like if I just like a, a ridiculously large mattress. What you mean, like? Uh... You know, those really, really deep ones. Oh, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, I want to feel like a king. <laughs> would you get a king size, or would you just go for a standard double? I do. Like, if I could manage like the world's biggest bed, I absolutely would. I love like rolling around. It's good for the mental health to have space to roll around in, like. Yeah, and just to have that cool side of the bed that you can just dip to when it's a bit too hot. Where it's you bloody are. Bloody exactly. The current mattress is just a little bit too small, uh, and it also overhangs over the edge of the frame, so it's a lot smaller than it looks. It tricks you. Why is this boy not going down? It's fixed, right? Wait, is he bugged out? Why did it not do damage? Oh, there's a couple of them there. I see explosions. I don't even know what item I'm meant to drop. I'm just going to drop a few of all of them. I'm just going to destroy them. Oh, you got it. Nice. Hold on. Just seeing the mushroom clouds in the distance. <laughs> Oh, this is this is fucking quick. Like I remember it being really quick the first time we did it, back when we did it. Faster than I expected. Like I was kind of putting it off at the time. Okay, it only took an hour and a half or something. It, it always surprises me how fast it is to run through. Especially if you get someone half decent on defender. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty sure the one four one is right. Like I, I remember that bit. Sleep on the floor. Well, you, you, you say that. Um, in Japan, we, we slept on the futons and they were pretty fucking comfy. My back felt great. It's not just like a hipster meme. It turns out that having a comfy floor is nice. But the comfy floor has to be made out of dried grass. And the futon needs to be as thick as a mattress, which kind of defeats the purpose, I think. In the bloody trap. 
Is that um? Oh, there's a runner a glitch sort of thing. Where the you one like at the end. Or spam click it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like five eggs or something. I looked it up. Or how many eggs do you need? One. I can't remember. I think it's just one egg, and you'll just spam click it at the same time. It's one egg, and you'll spam click it. But apparently, like one of you is not meant to spam click it. Like I think it's the scroller, like the person who does the lobby, is not meant to. Oh, like, okay. I don't remember. Um, you can do all sorts, like you can animation stall and, and stuff to make it a little easier. Mm. I think I, I saw in one guide, the person who makes the lobby can like try using a prayer, which does a short animation stall. And it gives everyone enough time to, to spam click. I don't know if we're that serious. If it takes like two attempts, that's fine. I think everyone spam clicking at once is easy enough. Yeah. It doesn't need to be. Towards these delicious worms. It's on zero at the minute. Your trap. Oh, I'm stupid. I kind of thought that one of the rune like plugins would have highlighted that, but maybe they're not. Allowed to. <laughs> It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm I'm very reliant on rune like notifications, to be honest. Yeah. I don't understand why these eggs are all hitting individual runners and not two at one. Like, they're all half HP because of me, <laughs> but that's not helpful. Oh, wrong attack. Sorry. Come on to this tofu, please. Can they not stand on the same tile as you? Because I always think they're weirdly intangible, but I actually think um, it's true. I think runners get stuck, yeah, behind you. Trying to bait them over. Broken again, is it? Oh, it is. I'm stupid. Kindly die. I would really appreciate it. It's um two runners per trap, so yeah, you're gonna need quite a few logs for the last couple of waves. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're going to be constantly running back and getting logs as you rearm the other traps, huh? Yeah, yeah. Got to be done. Oh, by the way, you I, I, I know like, like years ago we invited you to play um, Monster Hunt. <laughs> you still yeah. want to sometime. Oh, I'll be down to pick up Monster Hunter again. I didn't actually play any Iceborne in the end. I Wait, have you never played first. it? No, I played... What? Um, I played Monster Hunter World a ton, and I ended up just looking for a shiny fire sword from Cold Taroth or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I farmed the hell out of that, got it. Um, and then I don't really remember what happened after that. Have yeah. you been playing much? No, not recently. But um, one of my friends slash chat members, Blank, who helped carry. You might remember. We might. You might play with him. He helped carry us last time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Blank with a C, right? Yeah, he's got a weird. Our American friend, the the nicest American I know. Um, Danik. He has made like a mod pack. And I think I, me and Chris want to play it, and, I, and him. We might have a fourth spot. I don't remember. But if you're around That'd and you want to cool. play, especially if you've not played Iceborne, Iceborne is like if World was fifty times better, and World is already really? like the best game. It's really I good. Know it. If you miss Iceborne, you missed the game after the tutorial. <laughs> Jeez. Like, well, it's I never really, really got good. into. <laughs> I know there's like different bows and stuff that you use at certain stages of different fights, and I never really got into that theme of things. I just stuck with my longsword. Oh, also, you know with the longsword you do that parry thing where you run backwards and then run yeah. in, or yeah, whatever yeah. it's called. I went through the whole game without understanding how that mechanic worked. I it's even, like, like a timing thing, right? You meant to use it yeah, just as you're about to I, get hit. I just never used it. I didn't understand it gave you like a bar of whatever that thing is, either. Um, oh I yeah. I never used it. So I even like killed Behemoth with a team and oh, just wasn't, God. I, I was I was never playing the longsword character properly. <laughs> so, I think I had that just... as well. I might have even been with the longsword. <laughs> uh, you can I... just slash the monster, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I was just I was just slash and roll pretty good, but apparently no, I wasn't playing it properly. Oh god. So, um it's embarrassing, but it's a shame you've not played Iceborne then, but that's actually a good thing. So if we if you do want to play it, then we can we can take you through the best game. Oh yeah, that would be cool. 
Um, the mod pack, if you want to play the mod pack, um, it, it had a bunch of quality of life, like it fixed some of the issues that Iceborne did have, um, namely the clutch claw. You like grapple onto monsters with like a with like a hook shot. Um, it's annoying because you have to use it in every single fight to, to soften them, to weaken them, mm. to do any damage, and the game's balanced around it. So every monster fight becomes you and your team grappling for like a minute. Uh, so the mod fixes that by just removing that. <laughs> Fixing a little few things. I think it makes it so a lot of the events that you used to have to wait for. I don't even remember what I do here. Am I a lava oh, so guy? Oh, I, so I just looked up the wiki. Collector gathers the yellow eggs. Um, that... Healer, oh. healer then dunks the, them in poison springs. Attacker adds the spi spiked mushrooms. Defender dunks the eggs in the lava craters, and then collector pops them into egg hopper. So. Um, yeah, I've already forgotten what I said to be honest. But I started to type it into chat, but I forgot. It's, as it's you basically were uh, from from collector goes to healer, healer to attack, yeah, yeah, attacker yeah. to defender, and then defender to collector. I'm not an attacker. I'm a defender. What am I meant to do? So after the attackers have given given you the eggs, you're gonna dunk them in one of the lava craters. Oh, you need to turn off um, auto retaliate. I forgot. So it's collector grab. Oh, here we go. Tom Bowser's has given it to me. All right, and then, we, and then I give this to the collector. Does the collector send it? Yeah. Yeah, I I, I throw them at the very end. Are you the collector? I've got I've got it. I'm Strafe. I'm the yellow boy. Oh, cool. So we all spam it at like the same time, right? Oh, we're so gonna try it with one. This will be cool. Yeah, good why luck, not? Good luck. Okay. Uh, get ready. Get it ready. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, there's one of us missing, I think. My bad. We have to do one more egg. Yeah, that's right, not I bad. Two eggs is good. Well, I mean, Tom, Tommy's not in the call. I gave you an egg, oh, uh, okay. Wollen. Oh, fuck. Already? Okay, brilliant. Yeah, so now, now we just send that. Come here, Ruby. It's kind of hard to click on amongst all these things. Alright, let's do this. Try again. Three. When you see me move. Oh, we only yeah. need one shot, don't we? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Flat. Yeah, I guess we could also tie it to when you run, right? We did it. Yeah. Augers. Very nice. All right. Um, I'll do. I might oh. have to briefly go for a moment. Yeah, that's okay. But if you if you're still going, I'll be back until yeah, take your the, time. My boost run. Do you know when you'll be back? Um, uh, not sure. Like a few minutes or like half an hour. It, it really depends, but I don't want you to wait for me. If you find if you find someone else in the meantime, then we can't means, find anyone else. So if, it might we... be like 10, 10, 15 minutes. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll ask and see if Linux is around. But if not, we can do yeah, something else yeah, for do, a bit. Yeah, do that. So, Tommy's good at waiting. We can just wait around. We can we can sit and wait for a bit. It's okay. Does Tommy want his uh, primordials back? Because I'm doing a raid boss, and I don't want to have uh, multiple games up at the same time. I don't think he needs his prims back. He'll be all right. I can give him my collector boots, if he or my climber boots, if he needs them. Have you bought and equipped your granite body? Uh, I guess I could. I'll do that. Does that cost points, or is it just money? It's 95k uh, after you've killed the queen. Money and it needs a kill as well, the queen. That's almost all my fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll I do think that. it is a... I think there's some clue scroll steps that require the granite body, right? Or am I making I think so. that up? I think you're right. It's also a decent... Um, it's better tank gear than my rune body. Oh, it shows tummy as well, so it's more valuable as well. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can spend my points anywhere. It weighs 22 kilograms, apparently. Yeah, you don't <laughs> usually wear it. I think it's usable at um, some of the DKs. Or green dragon bots, maybe. Yeah, green dragons it works. Um, I thought DK's it was a valid strat. Alright, I'm gonna go to my guild discord uh, briefly, I'll be back in like 10-15 okay. minutes. Wait, Spirit? Mm -hmm. Did you need the torso as well? The torso? Yeah. No, I already have it on my main. Okay. Just asking. I'll see if Linux is around for one more thing then. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, yeah. like I said, if you find someone else, uh, then uh, go without me. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Ten minutes is nothing. 
Like I said, 10, 10 to 15 minutes because I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I mean, I'm, I'm happy waiting for as, for as long as it takes. I'm, I'm, it's, it, it's hard enough to get five people together. Like, 15 minutes is nothing. It's yeah, nice okay. to play with your friends. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, back in a bit then. Farewell, friends. I love you. See you in a bit. I'm going to eat the rest of this garlic bread and shit now. It's gone a little chilly. Um, I'll do attacker next. Nice. Do you have enough points? In yeah, yeah, I got three hundred and seventy-five or something. Nice. If is it possible to not get enough if you're really shit? Yeah, if you make mistakes, you lose points. So I guess potentially you might not get enough in one round. Fair enough. I'll go do some like fletching or something while. Yeah. Chat, do you want to talk? You've got me now. Who, who, let, let me read through my Twitch chat. None of you are still here, but let me do it anyway. Um, Wollen, if you hate interacting with people, why are you a streamer? Customers are almost as bad as chat, Yoma. Moi, we're being ignored. OMG, you got the job. Congrats. Thank you. Oh, but still, being offered is a good step forwards. Yeah, I guess I can talk about it. Um. You're playing Lego Batman. Oh, yeah, so you've got some more conversations. Spy Crabs wrote Blahage and then said, I have a Blavings guard and I love him very much. I don't know which IKEA creature that is. I'm gonna give No I'm not. I'm gonna let my let my imagination go. I remember like I went to an IKEA at some point and they had like a million of those bloody sharks and they like cut one of them in half and put it through a wall. Like, it can't dive through the wall. It's kind of, kind of terrifying. Um, what else? Uh, cock climbing arena. Very good. Indoor rock climbings are kind of expensive. Here, it seemed like they were about the same price as an upscale gym, and I'm wondering if it's worth it, just because it would be fun. You know? Like, sometimes um, the difficulty with stuff like the gym is, is the motivation, so if it's something fun that you actually want to do, I feel like you're more likely to go. Um, you got a membership for one in April because your friend convinced you. Oh, the rock climbing. A lot of chat, I thought, did rock climbing. Is that not the case? I'll just fletch for a little bit. Anything you lot want to talk about? What have you been up to? Are you there, Bowser? Yep, I'm here. What have you been up to? As in, in game or in real life? What do you want to talk about? Uh, How have you been? We haven't spoken for at least a little bit, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm in have you been okay? every day, but... Well, but we yeah. don't talk on, on voice. It's a, it's a different thing. Like... No. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. I'm... Been keeping well. Yes. Uh, I've got a bit of work coming up, um, doing Ooh. stats for the university professor. Oh, sick. Um, he's waiting to get some more funding, uh, but he's liked the work I've done so far and he's keen to hire me again. So, so yeah, I'm just awesome. sort of waiting on that because it was pretty good, pretty good pay and I enjoyed the work. So. Your new jobs sound quite comfy. Yeah. It's just... There aren't many of them and there's a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. That's always the case with good jobs. How have you found okay. the, the job search lately? Oh, go on, um, well, I did try looking a bit, but yeah, none of the... The jobs I want are interested in most of my experiences in retail, so... Um, and I don't want to go back to retail. No, <laughs> I can imagine... <laughs> We can, no, we can leave I, Paris I, behind. I've worked in retail for about 10 years or so, so... Um, yeah, I'm keen to move on and... Maybe do a, a stats job or data analysis or something like that. Data's pretty sick. Pretty comfy as well. 
It's a good, if you can get it working from home, it's a good Iron Man job. <laughs> yes. I can have RuneScape on one monitor and pretend to do work on the other. It's the life. And really, you're probably, like, in the end, you're doing about the same amount of work anyway. Probably. Oh shit, mysterious old man! Let's go! I don't want to do a mime show. Oh. I'm like, I'm dead out of death runes, and the last time I did one, I got like 400 or something. Nice. Um, man. I miss had... those days. Ah, <sighs> Mold Strife. I had such a weird early... Do we need to tell you about my Iron Man, right? Yeah. It's really recent. I only started it a few months ago. Um, I originally started at free to play Iron Man to have something to do while I was editing vlogs. Um... Oh, you might get a lamp. Yeah, whatever. Who needs 480 herb lorries? Oh, shit. Uh, anyway, um, I, w I we went on a big travel, so I had a bunch of vlogs to edit. So I made an Iron Man. I was literally just going to sit there in Barbarian Village with my main on two accounts and just uh, just fly fish, just for fun. Um, I ended up doing that for a really, really long time. I actually got quite a high level. I got, like, level 60 or 65 or something from that. Um, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just, like, bond it up. Um, so I did. I started doing a shit ton of quests and putting loads of time into it. And this is this is where it is now. But it was originally just like a sort of... I was just pissing around. I, I wasn't really expecting to do anything with it. And now... Now I've put like 18 days into it or something. I don't know where that, that time way. came from. There's gonna be so many like new best in slots to unlock. Like, yeah. a lot of people like play the game early on and they're like... Oh, it's not going to be fun until I can do Gold Wars Dungeon and Raids, but a lot of the fun is in getting those early unlocks and doing the Slayer and stuff like that, so... Hell yeah. That's I was, good. um... I was so unbelievably dirt poor that, like, I was doing the random events for, like, the GP, so I took, like, the 1,000 coins and that would, like, triple my bank value instead of the mystery oh, box. It's, it's Use it to buy more done, feathers. Like, it adds up big time. Now, I was just looking the other day, um... All, all the like armadillo that I'd killed, the Criara boss, yeah, and I hadn't really been picking up the cash drops. I was like, wait, my my loot tracker says I got over a mil in cash from the boss. I was like, I should have been picking up those twenty k's. <laughs> like, oh god, that's a lot of runes, you know. It adds up quick. So, yeah, but uh, I I I know I'm still in the early days, but like I really liked the really early days when like you kill a monster and you get like a piece of green dehyde. Or you do like a clue or whatever, I guess. And it's like your best in slot. And you've just you just made a massive upgrade. I, I ran from um, nothing to having like a snake skin boots. And I was like, wow. I'm hitting everything. Incredible. Um, I particularly like what I'm doing right now. Where like, my gear is really fucking bad. You saw I have green... Still have the green dehyde chaps. I'm waiting to see if I can get something better before I hit level 70, or if I'm just going to have to spam hard clues to get black dehyde, which I guess I'll probably have to do. Uh, I I've, I had really rotten luck getting like good pieces of god dehyde from hard clues. I've done loads of them, but um, yeah. they just constantly get ancient pieces, guthics, I was like, this isn't helpful for god Wars <laughs> dungeon like at all. I was really excited. If you, kill, if you kill worms, you can get red dehyde chaps from them. I'm not quite that level yet, but I was I was actually doing Wilderness Slayer, so I was like, I thought, oh, it's an Iron Oak, I'll, I'll try some new things, right? So I did, for my first, like, ton of Slayer levels, I was just in the Wilderness. In general, I really liked it, it was really quick, and I got some really lucky drops, like I got some of those scrolls that are, like, one in a couple thousand. But then I also oh, nice. got Fire Giants, like, three times, where I have, like, no levels or gear, and it's horrible. It's Deep Wilderness, it's in that cave next to, um... Mage Training Arena? Not Mage Training Arena, Mage Arena. Whatever. Um, and it's just horrible. It's I didn't have the Medium Diary done, so I just get killed. Uh, I got away a few times, but like... God, that was horrible. It'd take like a minute and a half to kill any Fire Giant, so a task of 150 would take me like a whole afternoon. Yeah. I, um... I... The, I was trying to decide when I made this Iron Man whether I wanted to go for Untrimmed, Prayer, or Slayer, and I chose Slayer. So I ended up making like 400k cannonballs or oh something stupid. So Slayer was always like fun for me, but yeah, lo loads and loads of AFKing at my old job when I when I worked from home. Yeah. So 
And then like a year or two later, they brought out the double cannonball mold. I was like, that would have been nice. That <laughs> would have been. But, um, yeah. Um, how did you get um, your steel for that? Um, so I mined a lot of the iron in the mining guild because the bank's right there and I was using those expert mining gloves and yeah. the baroc body armor to get like extra iron. Um, and then the coal I would just buy from the blast furnace and then bring the coal bag and you can get two inventories per per buy basically oh, yeah. um and you just need to world hop it, it was a nice uh, i worked out you, you could make about eight thousand steel bars an hour in blast furnace um and i forget how I much got... ore you can buy an hour but um yeah it was a it was a long grind but um yeah I, i'd probably say untrimmed prayer looks better but i don't think i would have been able to do that that's that's a lot of hours untrimmed slayer on a like a on any account, it's fucking sick. It was cool. You got it on your hardcore, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I I saw it pop up on Reddit a couple of times. Like, I want to do that. So, because when the old school Runescape first came out, I wasn't ready to play. I didn't really forgive JX for what I thought was that they ruined the old game. Yeah. Um, changing the combat system and everything. And I was just like, yeah. I'll see what happens. And then, like a couple of years later, old school Runescape is massive, and all my friends are playing. I'm like, okay, I'll come back. So. I only started playing because I think Tom invited me. I didn't play it that much when I was a kid. Like, um, I think I played really fucking early. It wasn't classic, but it was like maybe 2004 or five old school or whatever what is now old school. Yeah, that's um, that's, that's definitely uh. Because it was um, it was shit. Like, if you, I remember, I have a really very few memories. I remember Tutorial Island really well, and the rest of it was just, I just walked around. I didn't understand skilling or experience. I probably only played it for like yeah. five hours total. But like, I remember at some point I would just walk north forever. I got to the wilderness and I saw some other players and they killed me. Um, and then I lo probably logged off and made a new account a couple of weeks <laughs> later. I think I got killed by the Varrock wizards. Oh yeah. The dark wizards. And I was like, fuck me, why does anyone play this game? It's so stressful. You have to keep all your items on you at once. And if you die, you lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know what that. banks were. Um, and then at some point, I, this is like a vivid memory. I think it must have been in like Lumbridge or something. It was a bridge over a river and some dude had died and left a bunch of like mithril, I think. And mm. it was the most valuable thing I'd ever seen in the game. And I think I saw like 10 or 20 gamers all rushing over, like flooding like seagulls trying to like snatch that loot up. And I think I got <laughs> a few pieces. I couldn't wear it, but I thought I'd hold on to it in case I could wear it later. And then I died. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I was really Aww. upset. I think that's that's, that's it. That's like my whole experience. <laughs> so my my nostalgia for the game is is low, but there's a little bit. It's just for the very start of the game. Yeah, I mean, when you die and lose all your items. I didn't see the point, and I had some friends in school that played it, and they played a shit ton of it, and I just didn't understand. I was like, why don't you just play like Zelda or something? Why don't you play Pokemon. I mean, I I first played when I had. We had a dial-up connection oh, yeah. in our house. I was in like year six, um, and I was literally that dude like spamming at Varrock uh, <laughs> West Bank, selling lobbies two hundred each, cool. just hoping to make some money. Um, but there was one time my older brother's mate lured me to Karamja, got me poisoned by a spider. Oh my and god! I lost my dra my dragon plate legs, and he just no. joined them. And I was like crying to my mum. I was like, "Mum, tell him, tell Lucas to get his mates to give him back." Um, so yeah um but it's pros and cons if i could go back in time you know that interstellar scene have you seen interstellar i haven't but i'm aware of it ah uh, okay it's a bit of time travel yeah no i was gonna quote a scene but basically if i could go back in time and have never played this game i would 100 percent stop myself from playing it that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> it's uh what would you have played otherwise many hours. final fantasy that's, 14. well that that's the point like I, I was still into my games. I probably would have just invested all that time into another game rather than something quote unquote productive. But um, I mean, you probably World of Warcraft would have been wow. It, it might have been like me, where like maybe if I'd actually gotten into it as a kid, I would have been really into it. But I got into it as an adult and still got into it. You might have just played old school randomly for like a league and then gotten addicted to it. Yeah. Do you play other MMOs? Um, I played Final Fantasy fourteen for quite a while. I got to... Uh, what have I got? I had a samurai and a paladin. 
Oh yeah. And a white mage, but um I played WoW um a while back, like years and years ago. Yeah. Back when level 70 was the highest level. I finally got to level 70 and then Wrath of Lich King came out and no one was doing any of the raids and dungeons that I wanted to do to get this new like, you know, mm -hmm. the level 70 gear. And I think at level 71 you could literally craft better armor than the dungeons um would give you the raids. So God. I just I just quit. <laughs> I was like, I just grinded all this way just for all that content I unlocked to be made redundant. <laughs> That was the issue with WoW, uh, though, right? Where, like, any time they release a new expansion, it invalidates everything before it. Yeah, just the stats inflate like crazy. Like, the HP margins, like, how much they go up by, and the damage from mobs and stuff. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, otherwise... I tried playing Palea. Do you ever hear about Palea? I've not heard about Palea. Uh, it's like a cozy little MMO. It's, like, it's kind of... Yeah, there's no real combat or loot in the game. The only cosmetics that you can get are like you have to buy from the store. But I gave it a shot and it was it was okay. It looks um, kinda cute. Yeah, it's like a cross of Stardew Valley. Twenty twenty three Animal Crossing. Wait, is it really, really recent? Yeah, it's it's really it's really recent. Lost but uh, I'm trying to think. They they were like targeting a very specific type of like casual, relaxing MMO. A uh, bit of farming. Yeah, it, it was it was good. I, depending on the updates they make, I might I might pop on the account again. But it does look like the art team's well. played Genshin. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, played very similar to Zelda. Uh, I think I made an account once to help someone get an achievement or something to get an item, but I've not played it for more than an hour or so. I played it a lot, like at least. Like I played it like version one point oh. And then I played it for like a year or two, like t like every single day. And I've not, and then I've not played it since. They've released France. They've made anime France, and I haven't, I haven't stepped foot. They made anime like India, and I haven't really done much there. And I've barely done Japan. It was really good. I have no idea what that means. They, Sorry. they like they release a new country every now and then. It's like the big expansion oh, pack. Oh, okay. So the the game's a bit like Breath of the Wild, right? Um, where like instead of adding um. Elden region or whatever, they'll have a region that's based on something in real life. But the one they've mm. just released is literally just France. It's just, just anime France. Um, oh, okay. It's like water themed. Are we winning? I think we're winning. We're, we're currently just waiting patiently. But um, I played it a ton, and then when I was traveling, um, I played a lot of it on my phone on like 400 ping. <laughs> um, it's a really good game. I don't know, I should play it again, I guess. I've got a lot of content to catch up on. To work Genshin? Genshin, yeah. It had like a yeah. surprisingly deep combat system. I was really not. Ex I was taking the piss out of it at first because I, I didn't want to play it. Um, but chat was really pushing me to play it because I uh, quite like Breath of the Wild, and they were like, "Oh, you'll love it." Uh, and I, I got really surprised. I, I, it was much better than I was expecting. The story was really cool. Uh, some people probably take the piss out of it, but I thought some parts of it felt really cool. Some of the quests are really good. And the combat was just really interesting. I don't know. It, it kind of hooked me, you know. It was my first, my first gacha game, and I've still yet to spend money on it. I'm a real, real idiot, maybe. Oh, I respect that. Yeah, that that's the game that. I mean, I've heard there's people that have sunk thousands and thousands and thousands. Like, I mean, my friends uh... have put hundreds into it, which I mean, maybe it's not so bad, but like, it adds up so quick. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's been games where I've spent a lot of money on it where I shouldn't. Like TF2, yeah, you can kind of get away with it because you got a trader boy inventory. But like, I think when back when I played Fortnite like three or four years ago, I was buying skins every now and again, and, I, and now I'm like, eh, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> what if you enjoyed I it? I wanted at the to time, be a, I wanted to be the Monkey King. Yeah, <laughs> had to had to be that. What's his name? Wukong. Wukong. I forget. Tommy says I haven't, he hasn't seen me play Genshin in a year and a half, and I'm still three adventure ranks above him. Like Genshin has a level scaling like RuneScape, where it's I think it's exponential, or it's at least you know the, the higher your level, the longer it takes to level up. I never maxed, even though I had like a lot of hours in it, but I was I was really close to max. That's that's odd. Uh, oh yeah, I, I got ruined by TF2 with the microtransaction thing, where like 
I got used to the idea that if you put money in, you could make more money and then sell it for a profit. So <laughs> if you want to buy something, you can then turn that around and like generate income. So the mm. thought of these games with a locked inventory never appealed to me. So as a result, I'm like immune to gacha games effects. Yeah. Until one of these games releases something that, you know, breaks my brain equally. I, I don't know what that would be. I'm sure it's possible. But like, I, I look at these things and I'm like, I don't need this waifu. I can use one of these other 50 characters that I've got. Um, I actually, you know, I bought my first car with my TF2 inventory. Oh, sick. I um, I used to do loads of trading. Um, but I was one of those really shit traders where like, I, I'd love to buy a hat that I liked and then I'd just sit on it for a few years. So instead of using all my my bank value to, to generate income. I'd only have about 10% of it liquid, and the rest of it will just be set in some really expensive hat. It's just not smart. <laughs> but I, uh, when I was in, because I was in secondary school and college, I had all the time in the world to check like TF2 outpost and spam people. Uh, I made like quite a lot, and then I cashed out like a ton of the keys and unusuals and buds and stuff and bought my first uh, Hyundai. That's awesome. I'm really That's... proud of that. I think it's such yeah. it's kind of a bit of a flex. That that was my little side hustle when I was at uni was just trading trading hats and stuff, but um It was like real uh, money as well. Like it yeah. it wasn't like pittance, you know? It was it was fun. I don't know. I mean there are there are people that have just held on to hats that maybe cost them a hundred, two hundred bucks and they've just skyrocketed over like the last five years. Uh, um, cake. Do you know Cake? Like uh, one of my friends, Cake, Danish guy. Um, no, might... I don't think so. You'll have seen him at some point. Um, he played uh, Dan Denmark sniper for the national team. We played uh, Highlander for years. Anyway, um, he he was saying the other day that he used to have like a hearts or like rack, like or like a burning flames rack or something, and he sold it oh, when it was a soldier yeah. unusual. It wasn't worth that much because it was a shit tier, and then it became like a a misc or whatever. Yeah. And it went up to like a few grand or something. It's brutal, yeah. I think, wasn't the Patriots Peak used to just be Soldier and then they made it all class or something as well? Which has been a... I mean, that, I think that's different because it's not gone from a hat to a misc. They've, they've just changed the class. Uh, the class is like Patriots Peak. It used to be for Soldier only and then they made it all class, I think. But, um, Patriots. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the team captain are... looking one. It's like a new, the new. Yeah. Hat. It's not new, is it? No. Twenty fifteen. Jesus. Oh, I'm so behind on hats and effects and stuff at this yeah. point. But anything after like 2013, 14 feels new to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the names or anything. Um, I like the chill chill. Yeah, really. I don't know. I had um, at some point I had um a strange collection. Like, I had one of every strange in the game, including all the festives and all the crate 30s. It was really cool. And then at some point I was like, oh, this is just a waste of money. And because they kept dropping in price for some reason, even though they were rare. And then at some point, I think they released like festivizers or something and all the strange festives tanked. And I was like, fuck me. Ah, uh, yeah, so I, like, that's brutal. I like sold my entire bank, like all my, my strange, like Machina and the Kritzkrieg and the PDA and all that strange festive scattergun. Because originally there were like a few buds, and then they tanked to like 10 keys or something. I don't remember. I found out like a few weeks ago that they got... They skyrocketed. Like all those things are like hundreds and hundreds now. I, I lost like a grand or something from all these... Or maybe more from all these things that I quick sold. I, I looked at the Steam market, right? And I think I sold a strange festive rocket launcher for like 15 pounds. I think it's now like 200 or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's insane. Um, I'm going to have a look. Have a look. Um, I can actually get the the market. I can tell you the exact amount I sold it for. If you want to do a bit of a uh, depression reading. <laughs> no, I'm just curious about how much they cost now. So uh, I s oh god. Oh, I can uh, so what? This festive rocket. I sold this. Uh, oh. Where are you, Strife? I sold... PDA is like 90 keys or something. No! <laughs> I sold... This is my strange festive minigun, sold for £7.67. Uh, what's what's uh, a strange tough. festive minigun? Oh, that's 51. 51. 20 keys. 20 keys. Yeah. yeah it's, uh... <laughs> Scroll back a little bit. 
God, I sold so many crates. I thought I was I was doing a really good value. Like a bunch of my crates randomly became like 16p. I think they're now like a lot more than that. Because crates were like worthless, right? And occasionally they yeah. become worth a lot. Oh, there actually was one crate that I invested in because I was like, why is no one unboxing this? Because it yeah. had like a couple of really nice strange parts. I think it was damage dealt and headshot kills or something. Oh yeah. Um, and I bought all these crates for like a scrap to like a little reclaimed each and then they later ended up going up to like 10 to 20 ref and I bought sure. like hundreds of them that was like my most most profitable trade like as far as like oh. margins go but I found my rocket launcher I sold it for 26 pounds it had some others the, the parts were weird right because a lot of the strange parts were worthless people just like mm. didn't care about them or they sold them as like a sweet and then they ended up becoming worth more than the actual th thing they were put on. I, uh, yeah, I didn't like that they added festivizers to the game, or I, and I didn't really like how they made the festive black box look and things like that. I liked oh, all the, the OG festives. Terrible. Yeah. Um, by the way, Spirit said he got baited and might be longer than he said. Uh, do you know if you have a? Uh, do you know if you have a fifth? Um. I I don't, but we could always hop to the BA world and just get a plus one and hope that they stick with us for 10 waves. It's up to you. Uh, I'll ask the others and see if they have any friends. Oh, actually, I made an Iron Man friend. Uh, I, was, I did one small favor, and uh, I accidentally did it on the exact same world at the exact same steps as another Iron Man, and we raced for about half an hour. It was incredible, and we added each other. Um, what are the odds? I don't know, but like we were both just racing to each NPC at the same time. It was amazing. That's awesome. I'll ask them. I think I've had hey. one guy added since I was like a level three pickpocketing, um, uh, or no, stealing cakes in Ardone or however you say that. Um, and I compare my stats to his every once in a while, <laughs> but I've not really. Everyone else has been from my clan, more or less. I think. So I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I, I haven't made a lot of friends online in a while. I just thought that was like a fun little event. I feel like the next generation is just going to have a really sad time. Like I made a lot of my friends through like competitive or like community servers. And nowadays when games just shove you into a lobby and you're expected to have friends already. I don't know where you oh, went to meet people. That That's literally why I can't play Apex because I just solo queue and it's miserable. Do you want to really play like Apex, Apex together? Do you play Apex still? I love Apex. I haven't played it in a little while, Apex, but I but fucking every love I play, it. Every time I play Apex, I just feel like I'm the worst player in the world because it never goes well. But then no one talks on mic. Everyone just sort of monkeys and, and goes to where the gunshots are. Tommy wants to play Apex. Ranked, like... No, let's play together. I, I, I really want to play. Uh, Cake and Tommy were much better than me, so they always end up playing by themselves or with one of our other friends. Um, So I never, I never get like a squad to play with. Oh, I'm down. I'm down for sure. I'm, I mean, my aim is probably the best thing I've got. My movement's not great and game sense isn't great, but, you know, I'm sure that will come with time. <laughs> I've not played it in like a year. <laughs> I've played it like a little bit in the last year, but I was really addicted to it for a little bit. Um, I really fucking like it. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm heading to sleep already. Got to wake up early. Ah, no worries, brother. Um, all right. Chat, do one of you want to play? Do any of you play RuneScape? We can just hop to the world if not. I thought I had more friends, but I'm realising now that I don't. <laughs> um, who else? You should join an Iron Man clan. I, yeah. could, I can invite you to mine if you want. There's no like obligations to do anything or hang out with anyone or join events. It's just... Um... Oh, they logged. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I had... Um... I had, it's not even a clan, there's like two people in it now, it's just Tomo and me. Um, me and my chat and my friends, we'd like walk around and like give people pizza, as we were having fun in an MMO, and we made my clan, but everyone's left. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to join yours if you if you have space for a friend. Yeah, I think application's always open. It's just called Iron Space Clan. Um, I think it's World 5 away, I could invite you there oh, cool. um, at some point. But do you want to just... So I just want to hop to... Let's what, just what hop. Um, oh my god, I sold my Strange Machina for £16. Strange Machina. That's, a hundred and that's... that's 115 now. Yeah, that sounds like a rare one. I don't remember Ooh. that 
Crits Creek, 27 pounds. Strange. Sorry, I'm, I was doing this the other day and it was really depressing me, but now I'm back into it. That's <laughs> 200 pounds. Great. Love it. Um, World 310 Let's go is 310. the Barbarian Assault UK world, so hopefully we'll be all right there. We'll hop 310. Hey, McNando. Do not check Black Rose. Wait, the, the Black Rose? That was like a... Oh, I think there are tradable versions of it. Um, yeah. I had an un I think I got an untradable one from playing the game. Wait, Nando. there's nobody here. Yeah. Do you play? Oh, oh my god, 240 keys. I feel like I had a black rose at some point, like a tradable one. Oh. They weren't that valuable, were they? Well, yeah, there was normally untradable, but there were there were tradable ones. I feel like I maybe I'm misremembering. I never trusted the prices. I, I always get fucked over by other people lowering my stuff. I had at some point I was trying to collect like loads and loads of Pip Boys, and I was buying them all at this exact price. So I bought like hundreds of them, and someone like tanked the fucking price of them, even though I had proof of buying hundreds of them, and they were like, "That doesn't matter. I've sold two. Like, oh, okay, yes, uh, that's fun. I like that. Oh, uh, I used to get people ask me to vote on their price suggestions all the time. It's... Yeah. Some people really. Wanted to build a reputation on backpack.tf. Shall I go attacker this time? Or... Uh, I, I was going to do attacker, so I need to get them all done when I have the melee out. No worries. Uh... Unless you really want to uh... do it, I, I need to do collector and healer as well. I don't really care. I'll, I'll go defender. I'll I'll um embarrass myself. That's fine. You'll tank it for the team. <laughs> um, um... Main reason I stopped trading in TF2 is just because you got to have like such weird psychology to it like if you if someone adds me offers me something for an item and i accept right away 90 percent of the time they'll change their mind and they think oh no i could have got it for less you know should yeah. have offered this you got to like act uninterested even if you you know you're happy to accept you got to be coy about it like oh yeah maybe i don't want oh, to <laughs> i'll have to think about that thanks thanks for the offer and then accept five minutes later to secure it like you remember the, the like hell days of um not there not being any uh trade requests? Like you couldn't send someone a trade request offline, you had to add them, be online at the same time, and then do a live trade. Ah, you say yeah, I suppose I I, I must have been. But I, I think I used to always do my trading in the server and but yeah, I guess you would have had to add people from like websites and whatnot. I have Entity Hydra on. No wonder there's no one in Barbarian Assault. There's so many people yeah. now. <laughs> I, I was going to say, you couldn't see my pet earlier and I was trying to flex, but it's fine. I'm sorry. Um, what does oh, the attacker do, do again? You just attack. Um, you the... just get the right attack style that's called out and then attack the rangers and melias. That's it. Oh, fuck. Should I be using... Uh, defensive? Which ones am I attacking? The... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see, I see. I was thinking like, oh, I'm not using uh, ranged, can I even do this? But I, I guess it's okay. Alright, alright, this makes sense. Everyone was profit maxing to the point they were hardly trading. If people would profit max over the tiniest things, right? But you could push something over a little bit just by um, saying, oh, I'll add Aww. a green paint, a lime paint to your unusual that's worth £100. It's like £1.50 item. <laughs> People would lose their minds. But Sorry, the... eventually these guys will come over. Oh shit, McNando, can you do you play RuneScape? We need a fifth. Spirit's gone to go um, raid. You're welcome to join if you want. These are these are my stats. I guess I don't need to grab the arrows. You made big luck bucks over level zero items. Yeah, God, I was I was like really into trading, dude. <laughs> I liked it. I just found it really stressful sometimes because um, some people were just really, or they yeah they'd like turn around last second. You'd make a deal and you'd like be thinking about it like oh I can't wait to get this hat, and then they'd be like oh I found <laughs> some some other dude that you didn't know about. He's yeah. gonna give me one refined more metal. Also, oh, also bots like I wasn't trying to make a instant trade bot or host that on my steam account so that i don't miss out on trades i know i should have just you know kept up with the times and stuff but i never bothered just it just seemed a bit over the top i started to really hate it after the um 
spreadsheets stopped getting used. <laughs> My most nostalgic time was before like backpack TF pricing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm like trying to remember the name of it. It was just like the spreadsheet. It was like a just like a website. Yeah. Uh... It had that it had that like stock trading header at the top, like a banner. And uh, I remember some shit, like the, the vintage medic mask was like 8 keys or something. I remember, I'd scroll through that. That was my favourite time though, where like things had like a set price, so you knew what they would be worth. It was set by some idiot who just made it up. And Unusuals, he, he like explicitly said he was never going to price them because it would destroy the trading aspect. Then Backpack TF came out and everyone treated it like yeah. a like a pricing bible. But like, really ruined I, it for me. I do wonder how much price manipulation goes on when there's all these really high tier sales and people are paying X amount of cash and like thousands of keys and. Uh, no. That's an insane amount. Like um, I remember the I like... No Mercies were were like rigged. Those were those were um, merged, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's a single class unusual as well. I was always I always thought that was a really cool like unusual, but I was still surprised at how expensive they were. They were expensive because a couple of people bought all of them and then just like merged them around oh, with their friends. Yeah, I know. Kime Time had quite a few of them. I, I don't got... think he was ever in it for profit. Uh, no, he he collected them. I had a ghost yeah. one at some point. It was one of the coolest things I ever had. Nice. Yeah, um, I, I I had. I had a Sunbeams one, but I was never a good spy, and I was like, why do I have an unusual that costs a thousand keys? So I sold it a couple months later. It was but always really surprised me. It. it was on spy. No one puts unusuals on spy. Yeah. I get like soldier hats being rare, because everyone plays soldier. <laughs> spy always seemed like such a weird one. Oh, it's true. I always hoped they'd make No Mercy all class. I thought that would be an awesome one to use on other classes, but... Yeah, I liked TF2 Outpost. I used to do the shit. My version of the RuneScape sitting in Falador Park and screaming that you're selling lobbies for 200 was making <laughs> like rainbow HTML text on TF2 Outpost and being like, um, <laughs> this is I my heart's love... unusual <laughs> with like pink text. I love, I love that formatting on Outpost. I was trying to make all my stuff as pretty as possible. Have like, I had a key buying and selling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, post and I, I, I loved collecting all the bookmarks and views on that. And then oh, yeah. for some reason, I lost that trade. For some reason, it's so upset. I think if you didn't up the, if you didn't uh, push them for a bit, they get deleted or something. Yeah, that would make sense. I had, um, that's how I got into Source Filmmaker originally. Like I make all my YouTube thumbnails. Well, I used to. I haven't done YouTube in a while, but I used to make all my thumbnails in SFM. And I got there because I. I used to go into TF2 into like an empty server or into like a you know a local server and I'd find a really cool place to take a screenshot and I like photoshop it and I'd use that to sell my hats so I'd take like a really fancy marketing screenshot and then eventually I thought I'd upgrade and I learned Source Filmmaker just so I could uh just so I could make better thumbnails <laughs> or better yeah. um hat yeah. adverts that's an awesome like bit of uh Software to learn, to be honest. It's a cool bit of trivia. Spy unusuals for people who did SFM posters of their characters. There you go, it's me. Um, I've messed up in one of the runners. Oops. Butterfly Crimson in CS. I had a really cool CSGO knife. I had, um. I had like a. What, I don't remember what the effect is, like a fade butterfly knife, like the red and purple fade. But I really liked that. It was really fucking cool. And the cool thing about CSGO was like, no one knew the value of TF2 items, so you could kind of like, edge them a bit and say, oh yeah, this hat's, look, it's worth this much, see? I'll trade, I'll trade it. And they just sort of take it. <laughs> That's good. It's not sharking, because it was technically worth it. Just because there was no buyer doesn't mean it's, uh, yeah, it's not still it's technically worth it. Yeah, supply and demand. If people use the price sheet and religiously then. Yeah. It's the little bit of system gaming I tried to do was to buy cool CSGO knives. I'm just dropping everything and hoping this sticks. <laughs> Wait, is this repaired? Please tell me it's repaired. Run up two. Right you got two. It's fine. Oh, it's not letting me right click oh, it. Yeah. Come on. 
sorry, uh, McNando, you don't play, do you? Oh, you don't. You don't have an account after the wipe? Wait, what happened, McNando? Did you get hacked? Who's our fifth? They're, like, fucking. I wish I mean they're doing really well. Like, they're, they're like... They're doing excellently. <laughs> Pardon me. CSGO trading was really funny if a team loses a tournament that stick as tank for a bit. My funny CSGO thing was, like, I... Um... I got a bunch of skins when there was only like one or two crates. And I was like, I'll get some skins in CSGO. My friends are playing. Um, and then I just forgot about them because they weren't worth very much. And then a few years later, I went to sell them because I realized I had an inventory and they were like, they'd like tripled in price. Because I guess they were from like early crates and that has a uh, value. I was amazed at how much uh, CSGO uh, skins shot up after PS2 came out. People oh, were like, yeah, like every like all CS:GO skins just went up a crap ton. I don't know if they can't like, get them settled down now. I think you can. All, all the crates still exist. I don't know. I don't know. If, maybe I'm wrong. I thought I thought you could still get them, but I don't really remember how. There's so many runners. Jeez. Early CS crates are like 300 euros now. Jesus, what? The crates being valuable always weirds me out because you, you, it's still just like a loot box. You have to open it to get something good out of it. I wonder if Barber Salt is one of those things where Jagex said that they couldn't like cheat with plugins too much. Because I was like, it would be nice if they told me in like my HUD, which which uh, attack style to use. It says in the top right, but maybe if it also highlighted it in my HUD, but maybe that's a bit too cheaty. It was a little weird with stuff like that, like construction, where for some reason you're not allowed to use menu entry swapper. I guess I can block the front door while... Uh... Yeah, I mean, feel free just to get them, to be honest. I can't kill these I runners. I'm, uh, oh, I mean, with the with the eggs. Can you do that as other characters? Yeah, you can shoot eggs. Oh, um, I don't know. Even if you're not a. Uh... Oh, you farm a shit ton out of the crates these days when operation drops. You stack up on them and sell them a few months later for five x profit. That's kind of sick. The only the closest thing to that I used to do was um, anytime pink and green paint went on sale in the Manco store, I'd I'd, I'd hop up. Because they'd always come back to a key in value, and essentially it would be like half price keys. So I'd buy like 50 of them or something, and then sell them later for, for 100 keys. Good time. It's weird looking back and thinking about all the things I could have done differently, but then also just looking back in the last like four years. Because I remember at the time thinking like, oh, if only I'd have known to buy like a No Mercy when it was cheap, I would have made so much. But now I'm like, fuck, I should have bought like a Halloween hat. Because apparently the like bird hats are really valuable now. Like the the one that makes the medic into Archimedes. Oh yeah. Those are there's worth some, a shit ton. That's some expensive uh, Halloween cosmetics for sure. I have um I put the paint like all the Halloween effects just randomly on all my weapons like the the voice changes and the the footsteps and stuff. And those are apparently like people love those now. They're rare. The classic what if. I remember, I was, it's just, you, there's always a what if, right? It's weird. There's always, there's going to be a what if right now. I should probably be buying something right now if I really cared, and I don't. I guess it's, it's the difference maker, right? What I've learned is that rare things always end up becoming valuable, even if you think they should, they, they look worthless. Yeah, I'm Anything... trying to think if there are any games at the moment that would be worth, um... Probably Counter Strike. And if TF2 is going to make a um, Source 2 version or whatever, or if they're going to do anything, um, anything from early TF2 is probably going to go up. So, like, maybe Vintages will go up at some point. Those are like a reclaimed metal each. What are they now, chat? Are they still a reclaimed or are they more? Because something that cheap, you could buy like thousands of. And if even if they only go up to a refined metal, you've just tripled your grand. Mm. Right? People do yeah, that in RuneScape, I... right? Like, you buy a couple cannonballs when they tank, sell them when they're tripled. 
Oh, I have no idea how flipping works in TF2, I think. So there's always a lot of buying and selling to see what the highest one... Uh, what is it? You want to see what they buy for at certain times and then just... Oh, I don't know. I used to watch videos on it all the time and I still can't put it into words. <laughs> there's ways to like establish the margins of like times a day that they sell for this and that. And... Can I get the, the call? It's very serious, right? It's too much for me. Yeah. And in my head, I keep wanting to say, oh, it doesn't matter, it's just like a little bit of money. I'd make more if I'd stopped thinking about it and just went to work. Like, sometimes it's real money. Mm. And it's like, it's real, in, it's like real trading. Except it's a stock market I actually understand. I know if I were to go and buy a ton of, like, old TF2 unusuals, they'd probably go up now. I, I thought the market was going to die. They made that, there was that bug, right? Where everyone could un unlock infinite unusuals or whatever. Oh, I yeah. thought that was it, that's the end of it. And apparently it bounced back in like a week. I, I didn't even bother ex I didn't even bother exploiting it, so I didn't get the one free unusual that everyone else got. Oh, dude, same. I was literally on was all like, day thinking about it. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. You know, people are gonna be getting bans and shit for using yeah. this. And they're like, yeah, you could keep the first one. That's, That's just fair game. I was like, what? I think it's you could trade the first one and the others were untradeable oh, or something. Yeah, like, you could keep one. all yeah. of them. Yeah, like, you're right, you're right. Everyone's just going to have 50 unusuals. Why would you ever buy or sell them again? And apparently, no, everyone... <laughs> they don't yeah, care. That's wild. I was really... I was quite annoyed because I was being a good boy and not bug abusing because I just assumed there would be a rewind or something. Yeah. I, abuse often, abuse early. That's apparently how it's meant to oh. work. I I baited people on Twitter because I said cheaters like, lament I didn't too. unbox got a cheaters lament as a reward and I posted a screenshot of a cheaters lament drop <laughs> and people thought that you could get that again I was like nah sorry guys I'm being murdered you want help uh, kindly yes I'll come over to you I don't know I just I just couldn't believe it I I guess I'm really bad at predicting. Doesn't matter how many years you do something or think about it, it doesn't make you smarter unless you really actually think about it. Is the Cheetah's Lament rare? Yeah. Most people yeah. who've played TF2 have probably joined in the last like five years, and the Cheetah's Lament's from like 2010. I, I don't have a Cheetah's Lament. I, think... I started off just after it. Is it the Cheetah's Lament? You got that if you didn't boost on achievement servers or something like that. I can't remember. No, there was weird. um Floormaster or Wallmaster, whatever his name was. He had a like a console program that would let you farm hats, like the drops. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Um, because hats were rare, like just regular hats, like the the batter's helmet or whatever. Uh, people would run this program to get free hats. Damn. And anyone who didn't got the the cheaters lament, and then everyone made fun of them. You get some people selling those account for 40 euros. What, just for having the cheaters lament? Dang. I know shit like the, the oh, golden yeah. wrench is valuable, right? I feel like I knew someone who had a golden wrench and sold their account for like a shit ton of money. Or was it? It might have been a saxi. It was a saxi or a golden wrench. I don't remember what the golden wrench was for. It was like if you entered, if you went onto a web page quick enough or something. There was a soldier misc like that, right? There was like a badge. You remember that one? It was like a really generic looking medal. Oh yeah, was, if you were the first. Ones, Maybe? It was if you were like one of the first hundred people that went to some hidden link, you got one. And it's, it was ranked, like, they're numbered, right? Yeah, they so, were numbered, so the number one yeah. one was worth an insane amount. Yeah. Golden Wrench was given to a hundred people. It's like called service medal or something, right? I think you're right, I think you're right. Have you guys heard of the dude that deleted his golden pan? There's a lot of rich people in the world. Five grand oh. to some people isn't a lot of money. Yeah, there was a guy that did it for attention and then cried to Valve support asking them to restore it and they said no. <laughs> to he some... like, made a video deleting it and then <laughs> Valve were like, no, why not? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Give you it back. It's ridiculous. I think if you're Rich enough, five grand for a lot of internet attention is, is valuable. You could spend that much on Facebook ads and get like a hundredth of those views. I would rather have the five grand. 
I, I, actually, how much is a pan? Is it only like a thousand pounds or they, is it five thousand? No, no, they've only gone up since they came out. Even though there's like over four hundred of them, they've there's only, only four hundred of them. I mean, I think that's quite a lot. <laughs> Isn't it from? It's from MVM, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought people like hard farm. I thought there would have been more. You know, uh, TK know. got one. I don't know if you do. You talk to TK much? My friend. Not. He's also Not. was a trader at like the same time as me. He's been around forever. No, I don't. Don't think I know. He's a lovely boy, but um, he got a golden pan and like immediately he lost a bunch of friends. <laughs> they were like really oh, jealous really? of him. They all like deleted him. They sent him, like horrid messages. Um, like, oh, you don't deserve this thing that you got randomly that anyone could get from this game mode. That's so yikes. It's extremely yikes. It's really weird. You, I get, like, um, saying, oh, congrats. It's another thing to be, like... It's not like you, you don't that. deserve yeah, you didn't take that job. It wasn't, like, yeah. share on, like, RuneScape back in the day where he stole yeah, a job yeah, from someone. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Money is a scary thing. Just like, just seeing someone with it is enough to make someone lose their mind. Um, don't worry, chat. When I'm rich and famous, I'll still stream to all five of you. Things won't change, I think. Unless... I do get a lot of bots in my chat telling me about secret services that I can use to gain loads of viewers <laughs> really quick. Maybe I should start Aww. doing that. That seemed like a good investment. There, there have definitely been some few botters in the TF2 section over the years. I remember one in particular. Yeah. I think he had some something to do with Taco in his name. Hmm. Fucking Taco. Was it his his was the server that had that the like water where if you played the meet the medic one in it you got banned. Oh yeah, so there's, there's Taco's unusual server, but I'm talking about someone else on Twitch. I probably shouldn't say their oh. name specifically because then that's like a witch oh. hunt, and I yeah, your witch hunt um, with just... <laughs> three people. <laughs> and, no, unless, unless his stream was like embedded in a website somewhere. No, it's alright. But like he, you know, you know those streams that have like a couple hundred viewers, and then there's only one person that talks every minute. It's just questionable. Just but yeah. it's great. It's okay. Um, sorry for leaving so soon. I was baited and now I don't have time to do more. Don't don't worry, my dude. We can play again another time. We can play anything. Thank you for joining us for the first wave. Um, only stream at least buy me a house. McNando, I would happily live in Finland. It seems like a lovely place. I haven't visited yet. I've gone now. I've gone to I've gone to Denmark and Sweden now. So my impression of the Nordics is incredible. It looks beautiful. I should have you gone to the Nordics, uh, Strife? No. Um I've been to America and Poland and France, that's it. Sick. I don't feel like France counts. Because that's France like counts. a school trip. It was a school trip there. Of course it counts. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I went there with my school. <laughs> no, of course, of course, of course it counts. How was nice. the US though? Where did you go? Did you go to New York? Uh, I went to PAX Prime C oh, uh, in Seattle 2015. I met I met loads of the TF2 YouTubers as well, like Uncle Dane, Raj, um, Array7. It was cool. We went out for like Mexican food, like a lot of us. That's really but, cute. Um, I was I was very uh, what's the word shy and unsocial though. Like I was with <laughs> everyone, but I just wasn't saying anything. Oh, uh, I got the impression yeah, that it was, it was a good time. I got the impression that Uncle Dame was really sweet. Oh yeah, he's a really nice guy. Really nice my, guy. Yeah. My biggest internet flex was that he told me once that he used to watch my Highlander POVs when he was on the fucking treadmill. And I couldn't have- couldn't the have, treadmill? I, yeah, I couldn't have gotten a that bigger awesome. piece of praise. I'm sure he hasn't thought about me in like eight years, but I was, I, that was a nice ego boost to me at some point. Oh yeah. All you need is a little bit of like a reminder that people, someone out there like knows you exist, you know? It's, it's a little yeah. reminder. That's, that's true. I mean, every now and again I get a YouTube pop-up saying, Rip Strife, where did you go, Strife? Things like that. I'm like, oh, You still sorry. make videos? Because I used to watch you loads. Uh, no, I haven't made a video for like eight Long years. years ago. Eight years ago. <laughs> oh, God, I've died. <laughs> oh, rip. Dead. Shit. I didn't know you could die. That's fine. The runners were going nuts anyway. Dragon. Used to watch my commentaries on the treadmill too. That's pretty sweet. 
I'd like to think that that means that I've contributed to your health, so you're welcome, honestly. <laughs> I think you've experienced- it's really cold. How's the UK right now? Because the Netherlands is like sub-zero every day. It is freezing. UK has been like, I'm in Bristol at the minute and it's uh, like one degree feels like minus four because of the wind type of deal. That's so not not nice, but... Women's chat is a retirement for TF2 YouTubers. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I, uh, the only people I know are people I met like 10 years ago. That's how that works, right? I had people comment to my stream a couple of times. Like one guy, sorry, he's like, you're not Muse up. I was like, I know, but why are you here saying that? Like, like <laughs> weird. I don't know if he thought I had a similar accent to him, even though he's from he's Australia or what. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so weird. We live in a weird, we live in a weird world. You see Tom Scott, I mean, you probably did, right? You see like Tom Scott's, um, Taking breaks now. It's the biggest news on the internet. Um, Tom's got British I I YouTuber thumb. red T-shirt. I saw the thumbnail. I saw he's got like eight million views, but I don't know who he is or what he does. You haven't watched Tom Scott? He's um, you know the BBC. Yeah. Yeah. You know the style of BBC programs, general documentaries on random things. His channel is yeah. essentially just that, but a YouTube channel. It's like yeah, he, no. he travels to places or he's invited to somewhere interesting and he makes like a three, four minute informed video on it. They're very entertaining, but they feel very like this could have been on BBC Two. Like I could have seen Richard Iardi doing this. I don't know if he was on BBC. I think he was. Um, they're really good. If you if you get really bored and you want something to binge, just watch his whole channel. They're, uh, they're very consumable little bits of media. Nice. Yeah, if I'm ever on... Uh, RuneScape, doing something like an AFK, I'll give it a go. I'd recommend it. It's it's good um, content, especially if you grew up watching British broadcasting. Which I'm guessing you did. <laughs> I, don't, yes. I don't know, it's a bit of an assumption, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how, how old are you? you I'm, I'm much younger. Is that too doxy? I'm, I'm, I'm 26 in like a month. I think oh, you're okay. like, what, 30-ish? Or 30-something? Yeah, yeah, I'm 30, 30. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little younger, but... Rough, no, no, Tommy, Tommy's a little younger than you. We're all, we're all about the same-ish age. Although I think I'm, I'm the youngest of, in my friend group. I think of like nostalgic TV. Uh, you can ask like Tommy. old school. Like when you're a kid, you ever watch Come Outside? Of course I watched Come Outside. Pippin? Pippin? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the yeah, spotted yeah, yeah. aeroplane? Come on. Yes. Just make my, a shot. Just make my, a shot. Uh, what's the word? My media consumption is really weird because I'm... I, I'm like the middle child in a very, very big family. So a lot of the media I consumed was like 90s. Like all the videos we had, all the tapes, all the stuff we watched on TV was probably about like millennial content. So as yeah. a result, I have very little to share with my fellow Gen Zers, and everything to share with uh, people that watch like Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, Pokemon Gen I still 1. watch Malcolm in the Middle. It's on Disney. It's so good. Has it aged? It, it, it's it's aged beautifully. It's still definitely worth a watch, in my opinion. I love the the dad, the actor. I can't remember his name, but he's like he's also like the Brian janitor in Scrubs, right? It's Brian Grant because he's a uh, is he Walter White, right? Yeah. Yeah. I fucking love that actor. I love him. Um, what's the attacker do in this role? Or should I let this other guy do um, it for me? You add the spiked mushrooms and you give it to the blue guy, which is me. Okay, it's possible the other guy gives it to. Oh, blue guy, which is you. Yeah. We could do this in one egg. Then I give it. Wait, what do I do? Shit. Uh, egg hopper. I have another no. egg for you. Lava crates. Where's lava? You give crates? it to the defender. I oh, think? we got two of them. We should be fine. And then I give it to the collector, and the collector is yellow, right? I guess. Mister Yellow. Okay, we can probably do this with the two eggs we've got if we all line up. I have. We have some more eggs. Okay. If you stand a little back, I guess we could see when you're about to walk. Or... Wait, wait, no, no, don't, not yet. Okay. Just give us a timer. Oh, I think we were... Oh, whatever. Okay. I well, have Tom, another Tom, spike Tom, straight away. He's not in Discord, is he? No, he's not. Um, who did I give it to? <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Damn it. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. I think if it's there's two people here not in voice, I think it's just yeah. to be expected, right? I love Brian right. Cranston. Um, I think we yeah, we can all hand in these around. There's enough eggs. Wait for us to be on cannon. No, uh, has, he, has he loaded that? No, he hasn't. If we just get ready to shoot, yeah. and then spam click at Omega now. Okay. That should be it. Oh no, it's so close. <laughs> Do I get two of you? I think um, maybe if we stand like one tile back, we can see when we're uh, running at it. Hmm. Yeah, I think that... I can't remember exactly how it works, but I think if we're all spamming the cannon before he puts it in, then oh. we're good. Why am I? Why am I trying to use the egg on the queen? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, we don't. You got another one. I'm just gonna spam it then. I love that that's even a thing. It's so janky. Yeah, I love it though. It's it's nice to be able to do it like in one egg. I have much less faff. Just enough points. So I'm gonna do collector next. Um, get rewards. Get rewards. I have to do collector and healer. I'll do defender next, even though I hate it. What does Collector do again? You, you pick up eggs and put them in the bar. Is Collector like the fake one that doesn't... It's like not a real... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like, don't, I don't I, matter. I don't, I, I don't think you can get more points for doing what. You can only lose points, I think. I might be making that up, but... You just pick up the egg you're meant to and load them, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's a role that you make your younger brother do. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Did you? I mean, maybe this is too too uh, personal. I don't remember if you said ever mentioned you have siblings or not. Yeah, I got a uh, older brother, younger brother, younger sister. Did you do the classic? You give them the controller, but don't plug it in thing. Oh no no no! We're uh, no, I don't think so. No, I think I used to pay my sister to like oh, shit. mine for me back in the day. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> Can you mow the lawn? Don't, I'm not mining in don't, RuneScape. Don't, don't clip that. Don't clip that. It was, it was a good wage. It was a good wage. A healthy wage. Uh, was it minimum? You doing the livable wage? So you should get a couple of refreshers from the garage. Oh god. For a couple of hours. A curly no, whirly. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, it'd be a few days, right? <laughs> it's Pitter Panda joining us. Okay. So as a collector, my role is made up. I guess I just pick up green eggs then, huh? Wait, oh, I need to pick up ammo. Whoops. Alright, uh, take arrows. It's been a while. Do, that, do the egg spawns... Oh, they spawn over here. Okay. Oh, so do I literally just... What are you doing? Do I need to be... Do I need to be... What's your role? What's the colour? Oh yeah, it says in the top what um, which type you want to use. So if you're using melee, you're using ranged, so you just do uh, the name. It might even highlight uh, it in your... Okay. In your uh, that's not a blue egg. I found that the other dude actually ended up killing most of them for me. <laughs> Man, this this roll is nice. I just get to pick up the egg, <laughs> and we win. Hmm. So wait, with attacker, do I not need to? You don't I have to pick just choose up. the color of the arrow. Oh yeah, you pick up arrows. I guess you're doing range, right? Oops. It says, uh, uh, yeah. So you no, it'll be fire, fire spells. Sp fire. Oh, I'm I'm mage. so dumb. You're the middle one, I think. Yeah. Oh, barbed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm terrible at this game. Okay. It's really confusing, but I feel like once you've done it once, it immediately so clicks. I was just associating the name of the spell with the color of the arrow, <laughs> even though it's yeah. different attack styles. Uh, field. What? Which one's that? Sorry, Wait, I got it okay. wrong. I got it wrong. I I misspoke. I I lied to you. Saboteur. Oh god, as the collector, I've got to tell two people what to do. So if I screw up, I'm uh, in two people's days. I 
Are you enjoying the content today, chat? Are you, if you're not, I'm going to be a little upset. This is probably the best piece of content I've ever put out. Uh, defensive. Oh, it's down here. I, I appreciate that you've got the RuneScape music on. Of course I do. I know, I know most people, I, I usually turn it off when I'm streaming it and just doing quests, but I thought today, you know what, we'll get down to it. We'll be real. There's no eggs in the hopper, how about now? You can throw a little egg if you like, if you're feeling brave. What do you normally listen to when you play? Who, me? Yeah. Uh... I'm not listening to anything at the minute. Uh, if I'm streaming, I usually just stick on like different gaming music playlists. Depends, because you know how you can stream and play music but not have it saved to the VOD? Do you use that? Uh, sometimes, it depends. Um, but I, uh, when I've gone back to listen to the VOD lately and there's no music and it's just awkward silences, I don't know. So I've, um, I've started just playing sort of music from video games and hoping I don't get in trouble. It's usually fine. Yeah. Weirdly, Nintendo's usually fine, even though you think they would be the most aggressive in chasing oh, people down. I know. They're like, oh, yeah, the whole Zelda Pokemon the... Nintendo soundtrack, whatever, go for it. Yeah, all the takedowns they've done on, like, stuff you'd think, yeah. And game, this dude's made in their spare time over hundreds of hours, yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> Every person on the planet uses the uh... Wind Waker soundtrack on their YouTube video, like, that's ah, fine. Yeah, leave them, let, let them go. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit strange. Koji Kondo is just a good boy, maybe. Koji Kondo. Do you still use facecam much on Twitch these days, or? I do. I am. Um, I, I. I guess we don't talk much. Um, after we went like a big tour last year, me and Christina, we went to like Australia and Japan for stuff. So we left our flat. When we came back, we found the Netherlands had fucked up the rental market horribly. So, you know, normally if you want to rent, you show them how much money you make and they say, okay, and then let you rent because you can pay the rent. It's simple, yeah. right? If the, if the flat's 1500 and you have that much money, they're like, cool. Um, when we came back, we found out that you needed to earn five times-ish the rent to, uh, to rent somewhere and we couldn't find anywhere. Um... So we were house seeking forever. We, we're currently living with her mum. I'm in the cupboard. It's full of boxes from our house. Uh, so for the last like s uh, half a year or so, I've just sort of been in in like a cupboard. But there's no face cam here because I don't I don't know if I want people to look at the cupboard. Just piles and piles yeah. of boxes of our of our stuff. We were expecting to only be here for like a month or a couple of weeks. Um, so this setup was really haphazard put together. And I've just, it's been my permanent setup. <laughs> no, but, um, fair enough, I, I don't blame you. It is what it is, right? Um, one of my chat members yeah. made me a, like, VTuber avatar, like a, a PNG. Not not one with, like, rigging that moves with your face, but one that just jumps up and down when you talk. So I, I yeah. use that sometimes. But, um, I was actually a little sad because just before we left for our trip, I'd bought, like, a green screen, I'd really upgraded my setup, and I didn't get to use it that much. <laughs> Damn, that's proud. Yeah, um, I'd like to. I'm, I'm I'm sort of sporting that uncle style right now. I have uh, I have a nephew and another one on the way, so I've been buying those sort of fleece jumpers with a half zip, really sort of fitting the, <laughs> fitting the build. You're getting to that age, huh? I'm getting to that age. Um... <laughs> comfort, comfort over. Uh, oh, he believes fashion. It. Although fashion changes on your age as well. Currently, I'm really fucking happy about- I mean, I know COVID was terrible and everyone had a horrible time and it was a depressing moment and everyone hated it, but for fashion it was great because it turned um, shit like trackies into something you can wear outside and it's normal. Yeah, that's it, very true. Yeah, it normalized- um, it's not street wear, but it normalized like exercise wear. So I haven't worn je jeans in years. I wear trackies fucking everywhere and like comfy, comfy clothes. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with it. I went to my job interview, I was wearing trackies. Oh my god. <laughs> no, not, really not, like, not like Puma, not like not like Adidas. They're, they are, um, these are my favourite trousers actually. Uniqlo, do you know, you know Uniqlo? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got a few uh, graphic tees from Uniqlo. I fucking like love Uniqlo. Uniqlo, I think, yeah. Wonderful. God's favourite shop, except for all the child labour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's um, 
It's it's fast fashion, but it's I love it. They 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 do fleece trackies. They are fleeced on the inside, and they are comfy as hell. They are the softest and the warmest trousers, and I, I wear them as my my daily thing. Your daily driver. My daily driver. Wear them inside. Wear them outside. I was nice. obsessed because I spent forever trying to find a pair of trackies like this, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And it turns out my favorite shop had them, and I just couldn't find them. I went to all these sports shops thinking there must be thicker trackies, right? Should have just gone to the source. Um, I can tell you my obsession with Uniqlo. Every country I go to, any city, we try and find the Uniqlo. <laughs> just to see if there's I, anything I, different. Yeah. I, I look at their graphic tees every couple months. I picked up a few Attack on Titan ones because I like the designs, but... Be sick. I'm obsessed with value. I, I had a lot of time as a student where I didn't have a ton of money. So I'm obsessed with anything that looks nice, lasts for a while, and is cheap. And that mindset's like never left me as an adult. Yeah, I feel that. My mum, like, my mum used to love like raiding charity shops and boot fairs. But if she ever picked up like a good brand, like shirt or something, she'd be like, "No, it's too good for you." <laughs> she'd sell it. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> so now these days, if, I, if there's something I like and I want, I'll just yeah, I get Rabbit. it. Um. Yeah, but I'm trying to cut down. I've got way too many t-shirts. Way too many. Do you throw old ones away, though? Because I feel like I hoard old ones, and it takes me forever to want to throw them away. Um, I usually give them to my mum to give to my siblings or take to charity shops or, or stick on her eBay. Depends what she'd like to do. But um, Or put, put you know, those you know, like textile bins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the UK. Let's go sell some of them. Yeah. yeah. They have them here as well. They're just like holes in the wall. You just dump your old uh, old stuff in. We have to do like a real Marie Kondo or Marie Kondo. Like occasionally you just have to look at your cupboard and throw half of it out. I realized um, until only a few years ago, I still had clothes from when I was probably like 13. I had like, cause I'm, I'm quite short. I'm 5'9 and I haven't grown much since I was a teenager. I still, I was aged probably like 20, just out of uni. And I was still wearing clothes from when I was no, I'm small, much smaller, younger. Uh, I really look, I really had to properly look at myself and think: Do I can I not just get a different hoodie, or perhaps not wear this one that's fallen apart so badly that the front is torn in half? It's kind of satisfying to do though. If you ever get like a couple of bin bags full of old clothes, yeah, you're like ah, like a weight is lifted. Making space in the drawers and not having to lift things up, like to try and find a shirt you actually want to wear. That was my thing. I I hate giving away things that I've been gifted, but my mum loves to give me really shitty, like on purpose, like really shitty graphic tees that just have horrible text on them. Oh, and okay. I hate throwing them away because I, I know someone's bought them and it's a the, the texture, the textile is fine, like the fabric. It's a t-shirt, it works. I never want to wear it outside. So I had to have cupboards and cupboards of these like Christmas yeah. shirts, and eventually you just got to look at yourself and think, I probably don't need five t-shirts that say oh, vegetarian is short for being shit at hunting, but maybe this is not... I don't need this. <laughs> you know? Oh, is that actually one of the t-shirts? <laughs> one of the t-shirts was like a t-shirt that had like a fake dictionary reading that said uh, vegetarian and then like reference, you know, the phonetic spelling, shit at hunting. Like, great. That's Thanks, mum. It's daft. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, grown, grown adult now, I can I can buy things that I like and then hold on to them forever instead. And Uniqlo's where I thrive. I love everything there. It's so mild and inoffensive. <laughs> I also just like unbranded looking clothes okay. as well, where it's just, you can choose the colors you like and not have to worry about, you know, some, some logo plastered all over it. I only found out like a few years ago that apparently Superdry is like a dad brand. Because I always quite liked Superdry. But apparently it's like a brand that like dads wear because they don't know what fashion is, but they see it everywhere and think it's fashionable. So I, they, uh, I've never they associated it. with dads, but I've just never really fit that well into Superdry. It's usually for like skinnier builds, I think. They're. Like, their coats are actually really fucking good. They do, like, triple XL ma massive sizes. And I know that, as I, I mentioned I was short. One year my mum bought me a super dry coat because I didn't have one. 
and it's just too big. I you, I want to put my hands in my my pockets, and it's like by my knees. I can't I can't wear it outside. Nice. It's like one of those awesome Venga coats. Yeah. <laughs> It's a shame because it's an amazing, really cool coat, and I could never afford it as a student. Um, so I still wore it. I just looked really silly. <laughs> How far into the wave are we? We're on wave oh, seven. Do you still want to join Spirit? Or are you still raiding? After this one, I've got to do one more cycle as a healer. You can't. Oh, well. Boost is starting. Well, good luck with your, your wowing. I hope you really wow them. What was he getting boosted for? I don't know. What are you doing? Are you raiding, right? He was doing the new content. I don't follow WoW very well. Do you? No, but I still have cravings to play WoW and get that Firebird thing. Was it Ashes of Alar or something? Something like that. I always really like the look of that Phoenix mount. He's doing a community boost. I raid Spirit a lot, and I look at the screen and I realise I have no fucking idea what's going on. I, I don't understand normal MMOs. My brain is too small. RuneScape I get, right? There's a monster, there's a hit splat, and there's a player. I, can, I get that. They're chopping a tree? Fine. I watch someone doing like a 50 man raid in WoW. My brain, my brain shuts off, I, I just see particle effects. And Lots of bars and 50 people talking at once and apparently coordinating. Oh, you help people get achievements for in-game gold. Oh, that's cool. Like a like is a service. It, is enchanting as like a skill so really good money and wow if you're high enough level? Or is that kind of like an ancient pastime? <laughs> no longer. It's a moneymaker spirit, yeah. Is enchanting where you like a high level and you can enchant people's gear for them or something? Yeah, okay. you could like Enchanting's Enchant really good, it and give them like glowy effects on their weapons and stuff. But like, it costs so much to like in game to level up your enchanting that you end up just paying other people to do Hang specific on. ones for you. Is this Pitter Panda guy getting boosted for free by us? He's just standing up there doing nothing. Wait, which is he attacker? We've already. Just... We've already... <laughs> oh no no no! We we already killed the fighters and rangers a little while ago. Oh right, I thought I thought yeah, yeah. I saw him in like the boosting spot AFK. <laughs> No, no, no. He's he's been he's been doing good. Oh. Yeah, I've been forgetting to actually put the eggs in the egg holders. Uh, there's another one. Uh. Hopefully, I don't run out of points. I've just been deleting the eggs sometimes. Man, order of that. Do you have to load them to get the points? I'm just picking no, them up. I think, uh, uh, it's a good question because. I... I just feel like it's very difficult positive like oh, it says I have like, influence points. Yeah. Hmm. I think the main thing is just not to pick up the wrong egg. Get yes. a penalty, but pick up correct eggs, loading doesn't matter. Okay, good. I I had muscle memory for deleting the eggs. I promise it was muscle memory and not just laziness. What else do you play then uh, lately, Strife? You do a bit of Apex. Um uh, I do birdhouse runs on RuneScape. Oh, the polka. <laughs> I I've just finished playing Raft with my housemate. Oh, um, we started a Minecraft duo world as well. We oh we played through Terraria on one of the easier uh, oh, yeah. difficulties, but like we we killed the final boss, which was fun. Um, have you played much Terraria? <laughs> It's one of my favorite games. Oh, I, I, uh, when, when I was um, in secondary school in sixth form, I, f I faked illness for a week just so I could like play it. I was so addicted. Um, but then <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play for like ten years after that, and then we we played and yeah, it's been a ton it's of so updates. much, so much more content. Yeah, back when I played, the best thing you could get were like the vampire knives, and then it was a busted terror blade or something. There was some blade that you could get one of the earlier stages of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, I... What else have I played? I don't know. Um, I tried getting Counter Strike, but again, I've not really got any friends that are playing it. All the I ones that I'd reach out to. So Counter Strike solo is really rough. I'd only ever play it with friends, and if I was playing it solo, I'd just do deathmatch. 
I found like the idea yeah. of playing competitive CS by yourself like miserable. And I know <laughs> some people even got yeah. into like G, not GE, what's it called? A global, it is GE, Global Elite. They do that playing yeah. solo and I just don't get it. I, I got to the one before Global Elite solo but then i was only playing cash like that that one map i wasn't yeah. playing anything but cash and somehow i managed to get there but what well, thing is once you get to your peak rank you're going to be dying like most well, rounds even if you get a kill or two once in a while so you kind of lose the buzz and you're not really getting those kill streaks like you used to like the i had that problem yeah. where i was playing with uh, all my weeb friends who were significantly better than me and they all boosted me to gold chicken with wheat I don't remember what the, the name of the rank was, but it had a picture of a chicken. It had wheat. I think it was the... What's Green Eggs? I think it was the second highest rank at eventually. Legendary Eagle? It was either Legendary Eagle or the one just above it. But it was Gold Chicken with Wheat. And I was not that good, right? I had very yeah. few hours. I was a TF2 player, so I had aim, but no brain. Um, and I got boosted there. And I was really enjoying the process of being boosted, but then once we got to that rank, it was fucking miserable. Yeah. It Everyone was tough, so much better than me. And it, if you queue with friends and like, you've got even one or two... Of, um, the defender. Oh, sorry, Spirit. Uh, not Spirit, sorry. Sorry, Tom. If, if you um, queue with friends that are like, really high rank, yeah. you're going to end up playing against really high rank people regardless of like the, the rest of your lobby. But we had that issue yeah. even with Overwatch, where like Tomu and Cake are so much better than us, or their rank competitive is so much higher. Mm. That if we want to play with them, their elo just shoves like um, I don't even remember, I don't remember the ranks in Overwatch, but they they kept putting us with Grandmasters or whatever. Maybe not. I don't I don't remember the name of the ranks, but people that knew what they were doing, where me as like a brain dead aim person with fifty hours GM plus. I just couldn't couldn't really handle it. Yeah, I never she really is. got into Overwatch, but I think it's because, well, I found it's harder to have an individual. You need of, to play it with a team, I think. Yeah, it's very team based, especially competitive. So like, I'm used to just monkeying and letting my aim do the talking, but that doesn't really help. <laughs> you get melted by five people. Yeah. Or, that's my biggest uh, frustration with Overwatch, that as an individual I feel like your value is like really fucking low unless you're the tank. Like even if you're really good at... Even if you feel like you're really good at, as a DPS character, it doesn't feel like you're actually contributing that much. Yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be real, when I first played it I thought I could go from playing Scout and play Tracer and just demolish people and <laughs> that's not what happened, so... Um, it was still enjoyable. Like, I'd go Widow once in a while. I, I really enjoyed going Hog and just, like, hooking people just for, like, to piss them off. But... Hooking them into the yeah. pit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that mechanic. You just... <laughs> if you're standing next to the edge and then you turn into your... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really nice. I played very little Overwatch. Like, I bought it in beta um, back when everyone else did um, for whatever the price was at the time. Bef just before they added D.Va, so, like, really early on. Probably played it for, like, ten hours hated it. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand why it was so popular. Um, and then I, but then when Overwatch 2 came out, uh, all my friends were playing it, so as a grown adult I now crave friendship more than the actual game we're playing. Um, it turns out the game's pretty fun with friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel that. Uh, I used to care a lot more. I'd be like, oh, I can't play, I can't play Among Us, that's the meme game. People would make fun of me. Probably should have just played it. I thought I would have really enjoyed it. <laughs> Yeah. Refused to play Overwatch because all my chat members were TF2 viewers and I knew they'd take the piss out of me. Turns out. Yeah, I think we should have played it. Part of me as well that probably Miss never out. truly embraced Overwatch because it's like TF2. I, I do think it's worse. Honestly. Yeah. Like it has improvements, but the improvements are by the programmers. Like the game has better hitboxes, the frame rate's way better. Like, technically, in that sense, it's better, but the gameplay, I think, is so much worse. Yeah. I, I love... Do you... Oh, God, sorry. Do you play 1080p or 1440? I play 1080p. Does oh, that matter? Same, same. No, just just curious, because I keep hearing about 1440 these days, but... It's popular. Uh, yeah. I'm always really no. slow to upgrade my computer. This is my third PC I've ever had in my life. My third graphics card. 
Well, I had laptops before that, but like in, when I was in like secondary school, like year like seven or eight, I built my first PC, which had a 660 in it. And then I upgraded to like a i7 at some point to play TF2, I had a 970. And then I only upgraded from that, like last year. I got like an AMD something, or I put together. But I had until last year, I'd been using the same like SSD for like 15 years or something. Um, I made a habit of only ever upgrading at the start of a new, like, tech... What's the word? New generation. Okay. Yeah, so I had, like, one DDR3 computer, one DDR4, and this is my DDR5, and I got it relatively early on. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good mindset to have, though, like, it sounds like you're very much, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Whereas, I'll... I'll be going through a sad spell and i'll be like retail therapy and then i'll buy a new cpu and then i'm like oh wait it doesn't fit my motherboard I need to get a new motherboard oh wait my ram is incompatible for this motherboard <laughs> <laughs> new ram i so. i'm really afraid that'll happen to me when i get a well-paying job because i yeah i'm in tech but i've never earned as much as a tech person should so i've still I've, at the back of my head i've always feared that day when i lose my job again and have to rely on my income uh, my savings because that's happened a few times. Like, I originally lost my last job in COVID. So I had to rely on my savings for like a year, which was not very easy. Yeah. So my, my brain is always in like... Oh. I'm not sure. Um, maybe top left? I, I have like a terrible mindset where it's like I can't spend oh. money just in case top I really right. need it. Let's stop running. Yes, right. a runner. You consider 1080p un unnecessarily high res and play at 4 3 stretched. I mean, oh, I know it's Banny. yeah. Banny does that. I know it's not actually personal preference, and there is an objective benefit. But let's just say it's personal preference, and if they're happy playing it, then it's fine. I think if it's it's a video game, right? Unless you're doing it to make money or whatever. I think if you're just enjoying yourself, it's fine. But, um, I got a high refresh rate monitor just as they became like a thing. Like I got 144 hertz, and there was only like another couple people in the TF2 player base that had them. I think. I like really saved up for that thing. I got like 144 hertz. It only broke a couple years ago. But my like current Asus VGQ something. It was like the one they had in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were not many. I was also I also got like one of the first. I know mechanical keyboards are ancient, but when they started being a gamer thing, um, it was there was Steel Series. I got Steel Series like black mechanical keyboard, but back when that was like the only option. Um, similarly, I got my, my current monitor is my 240 Hz that I got when that became a thing. I'm still using it because I haven't had a reason to replace it. Uh, I know like OLED is beautiful and you can get higher refresh rate, or and it's a TN panel. It's actually really shit. But like, I, I'm afraid that if I upgrade, I will never be able to look back and I'll suddenly be spending thousands on peripherals. Yeah, I feel like I, I only I've only recently changed from TN. I had um. A 24 inch TN panel that was 240 Hz, and then I had a separate. Was it an Alienware? No, I had um, oh, one so of the first 240 Hz Asus yeah. panels. Um, and then my second monitor was a 27 inch 1440p IPS, uh, like Rock Swift Ooh. one. It was a higher refresh rate, like 165, but I didn't game on it. It was just for like, it was overkill for extra real estate, basically. But um, now I've sold those and switched to two IPS 1080p panels, they're both Ooh. 240 hertz, just for some nice symmetry. It, so I'm not quite ready to jump to 1440 or OLED, but maybe in a year or two's time, if I can justify it. But... I feel like I should one day, because it is like the thing I spend all my free time doing, and it's such a big upgrade, the thing you look at, right? Yeah, I mean, it's true. Uh, for me, I've never, uh, maybe I'm a, I'm, I'm lying to myself now because I do Is it so not many on other things, but I've been lied to. I always sort of justified it that I didn't really spend money on many many things at all, so like I kind of gave myself a free pass on. Yeah, I mean that's fine stuff. though. Like it's 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 mental health entertainment. It's all good shit. I think it's it's not good to refuse yourself a a better relaxation. Time. I can't think of the right way to say it, but like. It's good. It's good to upgrade your entertainment, I think, because otherwise your mental health will slip so fucking quick if you just scratch along. 
But I, my issue is uh, when we travelled, I've got it as my side monitor now. I bought this beautiful, like, 120 hertz portable monitor. That's a thing, apparently, by the way. You can get high refresh yeah. rate portable monitors. Incredible. Um, oh, I guess I have to get the egg now. It's really fucking cool, and it's so much better than my main monitor, but it's about half the size. <laughs> it's this little ditty thing. But, um... Uh -huh. How do you arrange it on your desk? Do you have it like just below your main monitor? I just have it to the left. Um, to the left. I, it, it's a what is it? ASUS or something? ROG. It's it was ridiculously expensive, but um, I was like, I'm gonna travel for like a, almost a year. Yeah. I'm gonna be streaming still, and fuck me if I'm gonna have to play on like a 60 hertz Steam Deck. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get like a proper little thing to go with it. Who's who's my dunker? Are you the dunker? <laughs> um wait, what are you again? Oh sorry, the You're uh <laughs> I'm the collector. I need to I need to give it some to dunk. You give it to Tomu, yeah. Oh fuck. Um and then, then you get it you get oh, the I very meant to last put it in. egg and you put it in, yeah. Okay. Um Wait, 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 wait for um wait no no yet, no yet, no yet. Wait, maybe uh wait shit, who am I giving it to? You? I give it to you, I give it to Defender. Do you wanna have two eggs ready? Give me two eggs, yeah. And then we can all line up and you, you, you count down. Also heal me. Might be a oh, HP a little bit. Ah. Okay. Uh. Um, good question. Come back, Ruby. Oh, there's a queen spawn in the way. Oh. Uh, what's... Let's just get a couple of eggs. I don't know what's happening. It seems. Yeah, the dream monitor is a 1080p 540Hz. I my I bought a few years ago because all my monitors broke. Um, I bought like a 140Hz really cheap side monitor and it was really nice. Like the the screen the screen estate is really valuable. So I'm thinking maybe I upgrade this 240Hz one day to like an OLED 1440p and I just accept the, the cost. I have egg. <laughs> nice job. Oh. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, I forget I forget exactly how that mechanic works, but it is definitely possible with just one. I, I love how the shit. bulwark. Can you see that bulwark? Oh it's beautiful. That, um, is that the dins? Yeah. The dins, yeah. I really want to get one. They look so good. Alright, um, I need to do healer now. I need to do collector. Dope. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the monitor thing. Um, I accidentally put RuneScape on my 14, like, 14, 1440p monitor, and even though it's like 60 hertz, the clarity is insane. Uh, my brain is so used to 1080p because I've been using it for so long, but like, if you see a good 1440p, it's like game changing. I think. I think eventually I'll look at some of the OLED like panels coming out, but uh, apparently there's going to be loads released in 2024. So I'll probably this... wait until closer to 2025. Yeah, this this year is like is going to be massive for, for OLED, and they've also solved most of the issues, or at least um, they are solving most of the issues. It's very common now for them to like clean themselves to help with um, burn-in. Cause that was the original downside, right? Like if you had an OLED, they would eventually just. Um, is there anything specific I should go? We got here. Um, I should just stay attacker. Oh, you can do attacker if you want. I'm happy to. We're kind of waiting on a fifth. So what do we want? We want defender. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's use the one that people want. But we'll hopefully, yeah. Uh... I watch uh, a channel, I can't remember what he's called. I think he's Brit. I think he's Brit. I think he's a British person. I can't remember his name. But he 
Is he? No, he might be Australian. Uh, no, actually, I think he's Australian. Um, shit, that's a terrible mistake. He he <laughs> he does those oh, those defender. reviews. Oh, plain Chad. Invite that man. Him. Oh, plain Chad. Plain Chad, bottom right, next to you. Oh, we, oh, oh. we already had someone. Okay, Don't whatever. Wait. What am I doing? Healer. Oh, his name is Optimum. Um, he does all those videos on hardware that I wish existed oh, back in the day. He's awesome. He like actually explains why things are good or bad. <laughs> you know how there used to be just a lot of made up shit, right? Yeah, and like you, you, you didn't have to disclose if it was a sponsored video. Like they've given you the product and stuff. So yeah, I'm just thinking like no one understood how any of the hardware worked. And like, it's I like when people will say something's the best. It's like well, why? Why do you say that? Like what else have you used? Like. They've probably not tested more than two or three. Are you meant to stack all your items on one thing as the healer? Do you remember? I thought that was a thing. Uh, I think you, you can get away with it in the early waves, but when there's lots of those runners, you probably want to spread them out more. Oh fuck, is our defender here? Oh no, we've, we've, oh, our defender is doesn't playing. We might to get a Does different not, guy. Does he not know what he's doing? No. Um, I think we need to get a different one. Thing is, I don't think. He, could you? Mm. I, I, I know. Like we should probably take the time to nurture him and teach him, but he should also have watched a video. <laughs> First time in five years. On, yeah. yeah. Uh, it might be a bit rough trying to get to wave ten with him. Yeah. Like, imagine you get all that way and then we just don't manage it or he gives up or something. Not sure, really sure what I'm doing. No, I, I, I don't want to be the bad guy, but I think we should suggest he watches a YouTube video on the Defender <laughs> role. Up to you, up to you. I think we try a different guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit. I, I think, I think we can. I'll, I'll message him. I'll, I'll tell him. I think this will take. Really right. We are rude. Well, he's not a new player. He said he's played this five years ago, but it's like defender is like playing the medic. In terms of how like important it is. Wait, I can't be a healer. What do you mean I can't be a healer? Oh, did some random dude try to invite me? Not Tommy. Yeah. I, I just said to him that he should probably watch a video. It's Tommy. And apologised. How do I reset progress again? Do I have to right go click on door. Uh, on, oh, here, on our door. Oh, That's right, reset, reset wave. Nice one. Yeah, the DPI stuff and just... I, I like the Optimum guy because he was also experimenting with, like, why mice might be good. He was, like, shaving his own down and... All the stuff about weight and it's 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 so much more informed now. Whereas like back in the day, everyone would just make up their own bullshit. Like oh yeah, all the all the Russian snipers really like using the, these these mice, um, so they're really good. And that would be it. That would be the reason they're good is because the Russian snipers would use them. Um, Zowie, was it Zowie mice? Or were they monitor? I don't remember. Or like oh yeah. Um, you know, uh, Max likes to use this DPI, and he uses a QCK, so that means the QCK and this DPI is good. And people just just accept it, uh, and then you have people like Shadowburn run around on 60 hertz. <laughs> it just ruined everything. Annie playing in 4-3 stretched. I mean, I'll be real. I, I was one of those people that used to look up like what sentence people were using. Everyone does. Like, Prem's team and stuff. But it's like whatever. You, this is just half time. It's just what they're used to using. It doesn't necessarily mean it's good or bad. I'm never um, going to switch from 500 DPI. I don't care if it does pixel skipping at significant ranges. I'll I'll never be able to learn something else. Yeah. I I think I'm I use 1.2 in TF2 and like a thousand DPI, but that's just I don't know any science behind that, good or bad. I just that's just what works, I use. Yeah. So. yeah. Someone needs to. Yeah. Oh, well, when I'm playing the healer, it highlights which food I'm meant to use. That's really weird. <laughs> Why is it just this class that it's okay to, to have this information on? You give the food to your teammates to heal them, I'm guessing, right? The good food. 
healed something. Uh, I forget. Um, or healing. Maybe I just use the no, healing vial. You, you, you have the vial to heal people, yeah, and then the the food is to poison the. I poison Tommy. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the, I'm the reason I, I'm like really bad on the whole tech thing. Like, um, I was using a Razor Death Adder 2000, like 2012 or whatever it was called. The uh, until I got this mouse. Anytime it would die, I'd get the same mouse again, or I'd buy a Chroma because it's the same mouse. Uh, for years, and I kept thinking like light mice and wireless mice were a gimmick, and like the mice with holes were a gimmick. And I finally like took the dive and bought this, the Viper or whatever, and like fuck me, it was a big, it's the biggest game changer I've had in years. <laughs> yeah, it made me feel really stupid. It took me a long time to actually consider using wireless mice. Um, I just used to rep the G502 Logitech. Oh, ah, classic, years. a classic. Replaced that when it got all gunked up or like the skates were dying. Um, and then eventually got the Logitech G Pro, then the Super Light. And Did you have a Super Light? Uh, no, so I've switched from that since to the Razer Death Adder V3 Pro. Which How is seems... it? Yeah, it's good. I was I was trying to decide between that and the latest Viper one, but I didn't really like how the Viper looked. It looked a bit. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit... I have a Viper I now. I was really into um, the Death Addicts. I liked the shape. I thought I thought a big heavy one was good because it, it meant you had more like friction for control or something. Mm. Uh, I didn't think an ambidextrous ambidextrous. That's not the right. That's not the right word. Um, Ergonomic. No, like it's mirrored. You can use it left-handed or right-handed. What's what's the word? Oh, for that? okay. Ambidextrous. Uh, no, I Is think it ambidextrous? Yeah, you had it. Yeah. Oh. Um, I didn't think an ambidextrous mice would be good because it isn't formed for my hand, it's formed for multiple hands, but it turns out that it's a fucking amazing being able to spin your mouse in a circle. You want to like rocket jump and not... Who's meant, who's calling? Someone needs to call for me. Um, someone's not calling a healer, please. Is it you? <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> Was it you? Is me. It... <laughs> we we just call the collector eggs, so it must be um the Thank other you. dude. This dude has, is that a third age bow? No. What is that? No, that's a venonator, venonator bow. bow. It's oh. from Muspa. Phantom Muspa. You need to get five venonator shards to make it. So that takes a while, but I think you can buy it as well. Is that the one that like ricochets? Yeah, I want to get one. It's really good for farming like hard clues from the mobs. Ooh. I'm sure it has other uses as well, but I have no idea. Back in the day, companies tried insane DPIs like 3600 as a marketing gimmick. I thought they're still doing that. <laughs> the current thing is um, like not polling rate. Is it polling rate? They do like yeah. 36,000, but your computer, like that's, that is a bit much. Didn't didn't that guy you mentioned? Uh, I think he did a video YouTuber? on it. Yeah, Optimum, he's, yeah, yeah, he's just like very much diminishing returns past two thousand. So, uh, and even a thousand is fine. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about how like with Osu, the best tablets we have is like hundred and twenty polling hertz. You see what? the shit that people? Yeah, I mean tablets are not made. I mean there might be two forty hertz ah. tablets, but like they're not. They're not designed for gaming, oh. they're designed for drawing. So they talking have a really of... low polling rate. Yeah, go on. I'm oh, sorry. I was going to say, talking of tablets, didn't... What's that brand? Is it Wacom? Wacom, Wacom yeah. Or something. Apparently, they posted something recently where they clearly used AI and people yes. are like boycotting them or something. On Twitter, their like, Christmas art was made with AI. Like, really obviously. Uh... Were, like, kids with multiple hands and stuff. <laughs> That's so bad. I saw, the only reason I know about it is because someone tweeted a reply to their own tweet where they'd got a tattoo of like the Wacom pencil or something yeah, yeah, yeah. on their arm and they're like well this aged well <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's like... but it's just I, I do find it interesting like the outrage of something like that like just how many artists will just suddenly you know never use them again or look to change you have allegiance. to though like I know, I know I know like don't get me wrong I just I just think it's really interesting like I'm I'm all against AI apart from maybe ChatGPT when I'm trying to sound more professional at work, but 
you know. The thing with Wacom is they own, I, I think they still do, but they own a, they own the trademark on graphics pens without a battery in them. So you know how an Apple, I think, uh, for their Apple Pencil, I think they have to license that from them. So you know how stuff like the Apple Pencil, these uh, Wacom pens, it's just like a, it's like an actual pen, you never have to charge it. It's just like this piece of plastic. It might be a pattern. A bit of plastic that you can use to interact with the tablet that you never have to charge, so you can use it indefinitely. They, they own they own that. I think I Samsung Samsung either bought Wacom or they buy the pattern for it. I don't remember. Um, so that's the only reason Samsung and Apple even have that as their that tech in their tablets is because of Wacom. But it means that smaller companies can't compete. Um, yeah. All these other tablet manufacturers like XP Pen or whatever they come out. Um, a lot of Chinese manufacturers that make pretty good pieces of hardware can't sell them in the West because it infringes on Wacom's trademark. It's That's really wild. stupid. Do that. It would be like if a company trademarked the wirelessness part of a wireless mouse. Yeah. So you That's have to crazy. go to them. I also think it's kind of crazy that we still don't have an official like Osu gaming tablet. We're still using some Wacom drawing one, like some cheap thirty quid, fun bamboo whatever. It's the it's like the one that everyone uses. There's no like pro something or other. I think it's because of that pattern. They just they would never be able to compete. Will die. Probably. If only this person would call what I'm meant to do. He's he can't be like a GP scape guy because he's got void, right? Oh, I mean, let me let me price check. Uh, PC. You can't buy void. Uh, you have to at least I don't do. Know, how do you spell venonator? Shit. Uh, PC venonator. Bow. Something like that. Oh, I'm embarrassing myself now. Okay, let me check. It's like probably like three hundred mil, right? It's like a, it's like a good piece of tech. I I can't see the price because my ad block pop up is in the way. Come on, what is this? You have an alarm going on. Oh no, um, my housemate's playing Tears of the Old Kingdom. I think. Yeah. Is that the sound of Link growing up? No, uh, she's selling loads of stuff to the shop. I think. It's just rupees going. Ding, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bloody fantastic. I really liked Tears of the Kingdom. I um my thing with Breath of the Wild, I didn't play it until like a year or two after release, and then I played it like two hours a week on Sunday for about a year. I like really spread that shit out. And I loved it. Because I, I spread it out so far. And I heard so many horror stories from people. That, like, I think like even Tag like played it in like two weeks and was really sad about it because they just slashed through the content. Yeah, I think you're enjoying it, right? But it's just the fact it's the same map, same everything. <sighs> Kinda like it, it hasn't immediately hooked me yet, even though it's been years since I played Breath of the Wild. And I just I think I my last chat when did I last stream it? It's probably been about six months or something. More. Yeah, I was doing it every. Um, Every week, I was doing it as a weekly thing, and I just I just stopped at some point, and I haven't had the motivation to pick it back up. I think I will, like, eventually. Maybe when I move. There's a lot of things I'm hinging on this. Like, now I've got a job I can afford to rent somewhere and move out and get a flat. Just join a gym. I was thinking about doing, like, rock climbing or something. I think something fun. That's definitely a good one. Because, like... I've recently got back into football again, like actually playing it. And one of the people I play with yeah. said one of his gym teachers used to say to him, fit for what? So like, you can go gym, you know, get strong biceps, you know, lift this, lift that. But like, but like rock climbing. Yeah. That, that's like, like, you know, like calisthenics even, you know, just being able to lift your own body weight and do all sorts of wild things. Like, it seems like I think something... that sounds more interesting to me than, you know, I do I always... that my max bench press. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, I, I get it. It, it feels, uh, I think it's more fun. I think it's easier to do something like exercise when you actually want to do the, the activity. Like when you were a kid and you accidentally do a bunch of exercise because it turns out all the sports you do in school are really 
good exercise. Mm, yeah. You're like, oh, I really enjoy football, I like rugby, I like cricket, whatever. Turns out you running around for like an hour is actually amazing. Um, I feel like if I got, I like shit like rock climbing, even though I've done it so little. If I feel like if I lived somewhere, I could just walk to a, a bouldering, indoor bouldering, and do it every week. Yeah. I feel like that would be a good incentive to to get a little bit more fit. And it's so easy to like track your progression in like bouldering, so the different coloured like trails they have. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the one I I've only been bouldering once, and it was like only a couple of months ago in Reading, but. Um, they got like ten different colours on the wall, and you can, you know, sort of work your way up. And they're called problems, my hands right? Were absolutely battered. <laughs> I don't know, probably. But um, yeah, Hella City, like, definitely want to get some chalk if you ever get into it. I feel like I'd really fucking enjoy it. I'm a little monkey, I think. There's a little bit of a monkey in me, and the idea of just crawling around and just having a bit of bit, of, doing something a little silly, a little fun. You just reminded me of like <laughs> when I like I really got into running and I lost a lot of weight. Oh um, yeah. But then I, I was um, on a date with someone that I worked with a couple of years ago. Yeah. And yeah. we just happened to go past the park, and I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny to like do the monkey bars. I haven't done it for like fifteen years, and I could barely do it. I could it's really hard, bar right? To bar. And I was like, I'm like way heavier than I was since I was a kid. But I was like, this shouldn't be difficult. And I was so embarrassed that I could. I think I got like maybe three or four monkey bars across, and I had to give up because it tears up your hands like, as well, right? Yeah, hundred percent. The shit you that, could do as a, a child is incredible. Looking back, it was the biggest wake up call of like you know being in, I don't know, control of my body or like, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I felt like I could lift decently at the gym, but like, yeah. It's a whole different kind of... I think bouldering's a bit of a... It's like got a bit of a hipster rush right now. We're getting all these lovely cafes with uh, single origin coffee and the aero presses and we're getting bouldering and... I think it's part of like a revolution a bit. People, I think especially over COVID, a lot of people like craved exercise. And I think bouldering was one of those things that was still kind of valid. I think, I think a lot of people got into it over that. The drawing tablet market's a bit shit. It's still in that phase where you can get away with high input lag and overpricing because there's like two manufacturing. Oh yeah, the reason everyone uses this cheap 35 quid Wacom tablet for Osu is because it has so few features. <laughs> it like it's, it like has almost no input lag, and you can replace the drivers with the public ones. That fixes all the problems. You would never use like the drawing tablet with like a screen or anything for Osu. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of stuff I need to do in my life, and I'm very good at putting things off. But then once I've started, I'm really bad at stopping. Like I tried full time streaming over COVID when I was uh, originally jobless, and I did it way too much. I was doing over ten hours a day streaming. Like really, just fucking going <laughs> going in on that. Damn. An unhealthy level. Um. It was really good. Like once I got into the the habit of it, it was like, how do I stop? I felt really bad when I started my job because I was streaming way less. But even then, I would, I would still do my like, however, how how long's a workday? Like nine hours. I do like nine hour workday. Come home and stream for three or four hours. So I'm still overdoing it. Yeah, that that was like a big part of the reason I stopped YouTube was because I threw myself into full time work after uni. I was like, I just don't have the time and energy to, to you know. Put stuff out anymore, but yeah. um, yeah, it's surprisingly high effort for what for what you feel like should be easy. Oh, I'm already playing games. I just hit start record. It's surprisingly tra draining. Yeah, but then like, you you can completely be yourself on stream, but I feel like you have to be a slightly higher energy version of yourself, and it's hard to to keep I... up that enthusiasm. And I don't know. For me, anyway, I, I, I couldn't. I could never stream for like. I couldn't stream every day, for like a job. I don't think. I think my issue is I've I've been streaming for. I think I feel like you, you must be streaming longer than me, but I've been streaming since like 2013. So as a young person, that's like half my life. So I think mm. it's become my personality. 
Like, um, the way I act on stream is not dissimilar to how I act normally. Yeah. So I guess it's become more easy. But, like, that has, that has a massive downside in that I never play shit off stream. It's only, like, fairly recently I've started oh. playing stuff with my friends. And I didn't realize how much fun it was just having, like, a private conversation with people. <laughs> Yeah. You can talk about work, you can talk about like real life. I, I, it's something that my brain has been blocking for years. It's quite freeing. There, there's so many games which I've not played because I've been saving them for the stream and just never played I, them on stream. Yeah, I, like Undertale, <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring, yeah, yeah. like Hotline Miami, like things like that. I'm just like. But it's ugh. content. Exactly. Oh, Dragon Quest. My, oh my, my one of my viewers bought me that and it's like quite an expensive game and I've not played it, it's been like two years. I'm an awful person, but like, I can't play it and not on the stream because he, you know, he wants he to watch it. me play it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that I was, was like, oh, how many hours does it take to complete? He's like, about 80. I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I've got. I don't know when I'm going to start that one. Oh, don't remind me, I've got a terrible big backlog of games people have been giving me. There's shit from like eight years ago I still haven't played yet, and I still feel bad about it. Okay, that makes me feel better. You should feel better. It's hard, <laughs> it, it's just like, I I guess I'd like to play one shot, but I just, I've never gotten around to it. But it's, um, what was I trying to think? I had that issue with my RuneScape main, where I was avoiding doing quests, because I was thinking, oh, someone will watch it. So I was, if I get a clue scroll, I'd just hold onto it for weeks until I stream RuneScape again, because I wouldn't be able yeah. to do the quest. Be like, oh, I can't do Monkey Madness yet. I, I've got to find a few hours somewhere to stream it in a row. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to not stream some part of it. Or like with games like Apex, where like you want people to know that you've won. It's nice to have proof and like look at that video and think, yeah, we're sick. It feels like a waste when you win and you haven't recorded it. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. Which is sad, and it's not how it should work. It's just a, it's just a video game. I had that even like yesterday. We started playing. Um, have you played? Fuck, what's it called? Uh, Lethal Company. It's the no, current hotness. I, I saw a clip of someone getting a ladder drops on their head and they died or something. But I've not actually played or through anything outside of that. It is really fucking fun. It's some of the most fun I've had in a game in like a long time. As like a co-op okay. game. It's. I think it's one of those games where it's a hit sensation and it has a really good reason to be. It's like it's fun to play and fun to stream and fun to watch. It's it's hit everything, yeah. and it's made by one guy, so you don't feel bad giving money to some mega corporation. It's like oh, some okay. some single indie developer. You pay him a tenner. Yeah. So it's it's good all around. It's got that nice indie game thing where it gets a big update every couple weeks with tons of new content. Like uh, if you played stuff like The Binding of Isaac or Nuclear Throne, as those were being oh, developed. Oh yeah, I I enjoyed. Well, I, I, I probably still need to Minecraft. play Binding of Isaac. There's so many items I've not used in that game, but... Just getting um, just getting the update day is fun. But yeah, um, it's great. If you if you get a chance to play it, or if you want to join us sometime, you're welcome to. Because um, it's moddable as well. It's just Unity. So people have made mods for making like infinite party size, or new monsters, or... Making it so you can play as the scout from TF2 or whatever. <laughs> of course they fucking have. Um, uh, why not? Any game you could put a model in, why would they not? After this wave, I need to feed my cat because she's. Oh yelling. shit. Um, you might be able to go now. I feel like this um, I mean, it, it won't take long. No, go for it. Okay, it's... I'll go AFK for a bit then. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. don't kill your cat for RuneScape. You will get in trouble. Um, we had that issue though, um, we were streaming it, we were not streaming it, sorry. I was preparing for a job interview the other day, so I didn't stream, but then at midnight my friends wanted to play, so I did an off-stream gaming sesh horror, and I had tons of fun, and some amazing stuff happened, and it was really funny, and I didn't record it, and no one gets to see it. <laughs> I yeah. felt kind of bad, because it was like, but we then... saw like a monster for the first time, and it was really funny. Instead, it's just. Did... Yeah. Would you yeah. have really been in the moment the whole time? Because you would have been responding to chat, maybe not acknowledging people in Discord as much. Or maybe that's just me, I'm, pro I'm projecting here, but... I think you might be right. Yeah. And some other stuff didn't happen, so like, Cake chose not to do something that would have been detrimental. Um, he would have done it on stream because it would have been really funny, but he chose not to do it because it was off stream and it would have just wasted everyone's time. So it, it was diff it was a different experience, but like I couldn't help but think like, damn, they missed out on some amazing fucking content. 
Oh, McNando makes a good point in your chat though. Shadow play, if you got that instant replay feature turned on. I used to have that like years um, ago. That was my recording program of choice. Yeah, I think I'm something. I don't want to do that just because I I feel like if I choose not to stream it, then it's I'm sort of choosing to have a private gaming sesh, and yeah. I don't want to record something that's like a personal moment or or even have that in the in the buffer. You know, if, if someone's yeah. talking about something serious, it feels weird to me. But I should, I yeah. probably should, because there's shit where, like, something cool happens, and I, I wish I had, like, a 30-second buffer just to say, like, yeah. I don't want to learn a bit about how that shadow play stuff works with the instant replay, because it's meant to just be constantly recording, but it's you press just... a button and it'll save the last X amount of time. Yeah, but, it's um... the same as CCTV. It's just a record... It's just a buffer. It, uh... So is it... It writes you, you over with, itself. You know with like NVMe SSDs and you're supposed to not sort of read and write to them too much. Oh like shit. more than you need to. I think it's in memory. Okay. Oh, I, so it won't it won't actually write to your drive until you no. hit that save button. I no, I'm wrong. If it was in memory, it would take up a shit ton of memory, right? Because it's video. It probably is writing to disk, right? No, because writing to disk is an expensive operation. Like usually you'd never want to write write to disk for a live operation just because it's I/O on a computer yeah. is, is slow, right? I want yeah, Might chat. Read up on that. And we should wait for some. So I've okay. only got two. Oh, yeah, I've only got two NVMe. Well, I say only. I don't mean like that. But I've got two yeah. NVMe SSDs in my PC. And yeah. like, I'd love to have Shadow Play on all the time just in case something happens and I can remember to hit that button. I don't but it says it might be in VRAM. It might just be in your like, graphics card's memory, which would be fine. That would be sweet, if so. Yeah. I'll turn that on right away, if so. I, sh I feel like maybe I should just have it on. There's other shit where, like, I haven't recorded a frag oh. video or anything similar in a really, really long time. And I've had some cool frags in my last eight years of my life. And I kind of wish I'd, like, remembered it. Or even done, like... Twitch has, like, um, bookmarks, right? Never yeah, used it once. I wonder how that works. I added it to the stream deck, that feature, like bookmarks. I have a stream deck. And yeah, I, I, is it? I don't. It's great, but I don't feel like I can justify owning one. <laughs> I feel like I'd fuck like, about with it forever. I'd, I'd like, I'd spend so I, long fiddling with the macros. It, it's a glorified scene changer for me, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, but um, it stops you from having to tab out, which is quite. Yeah. Hey, great. And, and it's really nice to control Spotify, like volume, playlist, I'm on, track. Uh, what else have I got? Don't ask me why, but I've got a Elgato key light that I can control with it. Although yeah. I literally never do, do face cam streams, so. How do I fill um, the vial? Do you know? Uh, uh, just on that healer sprint. Front at the entrance. Oh. Yeah. yeah, go on, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oops. Oh, I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> um, we were, You were talking about. Fuck, what were you talking about? <laughs> Elgato. Oh, the Steam Deck, the, the Stream Deck and the light, the key light. Oh, right, yeah, so for some reason, I don't I don't spend money on many things, but if, it, if it's to improve the stream setup, I will, even though, you know... That's my I'm issue as well, though. <laughs> I'm not making money, I'm not making enough money to justify buying, you know, stuff to improve the stream. Like, I think the reason I bought a better CPU is because my game was getting a performance hit when I hit the stream button, and then now yeah. NVIDIA's NVENC encode is just so good it doesn't really matter so much but so much easier to stream now right yeah for sure i mean at one point i had a two pc setup one just for the encoding like streaming part and one just for playing games on which is ridiculous because i've never made a significant amount of money from streaming but um i just yeah always wanted to have my games running good so i technically have that now because my old pc uh when i built my current one my like new uh, amd I used all new parts except for the, like I think I reused like one of the drives or something. Uh, oh, and I, I reused my graphics card because my 20, 2070 is fine. That's not going to go out for a while. But, um, I still have my old PC, so I was planning on actually using that as a as a encoding machine. Just as a Apex, I think actually does lag quite a bit. Yeah. With OBS. Um, I th I, th I think I'll still do it. 
it, it, as long as I don't know. The, the only thing I remember about my two PC setup is that I was in a tiny little box room with a small window, really hot, and it became right? a sauna. Yeah, I had a temperature cam on, it, and at times it was like thirty degrees in my room, and it wasn't even like the summer. So, yeah. yeah. Do you want an interesting, not even a story, but like a point? We only have one attacker, by the way. I am not attacking things, and I'm the only attacker. I thought ah. I killed everything for some reason. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, while I was yeah. traveling last year, um, and I was trying to stream, uh, I bought like a whole new set of stuff to help me do that remote, right? So, but I, I was obsessed with not spending unnecessary money. So while I should have just bought a gaming PC or a gaming laptop, I chose to do it the hard way. Um, I bought a Steam Deck, because I, I, I felt like I could uh, validate that. I was like, oh, a Steam Deck, I could use that. I bought like a little dock for it. I got a uh, an external, what's the word, like a capture card, yeah, and like this external monitor, and I had this whole little like remote streaming setup. It was really cool, and I had I had a thing where I'd uh, I'd take the output from my Steam Deck, push it through my work laptop to stream through, and then put it into the little portable monitor, and it it worked. It worked tremendously. I'm thinking I could still do that. Like I had to buy a new laptop recently just so I could do um because I, I do mobile development, you have to have an Apple machine. Uh so I had to buy a MacBook so I could do iOS development. Uh do I dump this in the crap here? And then who gets this? You? I don't know if I gave that to the right person. Were you meant to take that? We got two eggs at the minute. I've given them to Barcelona. Uh, we should probably heal up before we go over there, there. Oh fuck, you're right. It's taking a little while to heal. I thought I'd just drink from the pool and it heals me. Huh? Yeah, you, you, you do, yeah, but then you got to use your vial on it, um, separately. Yeah, hang on. And concentrate. I gave this to you last time, I don't know if that was right. No, I meant to dunk the egg. Uh, I need to pass them to what, a healer. What are you, you defending? Oh, yeah, so you... Three Omega eggs. Oh, okay. Okay. We cannon. I'm standing on the cannon and... Well, uh... Oh. We're cannon oh. down. I'll, I'll let you count down. Alright, this we should be good. I'm spamming. I am spamming. Why is it not working? Wait, what What do we need to kill? Oh, there's a penance. Oh, there's still runners. There's still runners. Oh, wait, have I, is it me? So, what do I need to kill? Is it a runner? Killed. Yeah, oh, there's wait. a runner on the right. Just stuck. <laughs> That's so goofy. Oops, we might as well just make extra eggs, I don't know. There's still three in the machine, they just never sent, right? That's true. Oh fuck, Are these poisons? Did I poison these? Sorry if I'm giving them to the wrong person. Sort of... This is so scuffed. Ah, we're, we're, it's just, just waiting for that defender to... Kill the last runner, and then we have more than enough eggs, I think. I kind of like Barb. I think I said this last time we played this, which was three years ago now, but I, I kind of like Barb Assault. It feels yeah, like an MMO. Oh, know, with friends, yeah. Pretty awful with just randos. Well, we had that with one rando, it seemed awful, right? <laughs> this person isn't about to die, are they? Um, go check they need heat. Oh, they're like half health. You should have the HP bars on the top left or somewhere of your screen. I forget where. In the middle. Oh, you just have screen. it. You just have it on the middle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can move that around. Oh, that's the default. <laughs> he's not having a good time with this runner. Oh, yeah. I think he's got him. I think he's got him. We should make sure yeah. everyone doesn't die. Wait, he's the needs to fix the trap. Fix the trap, bro. <laughs> My, no. my dude with a bow worth more than my mains account bank multiplied yeah. by four. So I think I think it's seven mil for a venonator shard, and you need five of those. So oh, that's cheaper than I thought. Yeah, like thirty-five-ish. 
I don't know how much. Oh, no, I had a hundred mil. Can we just shoot it with the cannon? No, we need to no, wait for the thing to be killed. It doesn't let us shoot unless the, all the runners, all the penance minions are dead. No, oh, we but... can't. We shoot the runner. Oh, uh, I think unless it comes range. over here, yeah. It's a good point. though, I didn't even think about that. My boy has a thousand Duke Salacious kills. Sulaciscus. Lord, he has a thousand Zolora. I'm sure Duke you is can... that ugly thing, right? Yeah, I think so. I haven't done any of the DT2 content. I got um, I quit my main after I got the West Cape. That was like my original goal. Oh, and the, the moment I got cool. it, right, yeah, it was cool. Dead. Oh, sick! No, I feel like the moment I got bad. it, I lost all interest in playing the account. I had like like a lot of hours in it. I just it just disappeared overnight. We'll let Tom count. Everyone okay. get on the cannon. Surely. Let's go! Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice one, Tom. <laughs> I, I got enough points. Oh, oh fuck, shit. I don't have enough points for healer! I'm 324. Did you need 350? 375, I think. Oh. Shit. Oh, I don't yeah. have enough on Defender then. Do I need to do like a wave one? With like randoms. You I have 360. Well, no, you, you could just get away with doing one full wave and then switching halfway through. Um, I also need 375. It's a fucking in bot in my chat. Um, yeah, I'm not 375. I got. I guess I'm a shit healer. I have 324. How do you check? It just For me, it just says in the top left. I think you can probably talk to this NPC in here. A uh, different guy. Yeah, I don't have 375 points. I have. Uh, I need to get more healer and more de a couple more defender. I need one more attacker, a bit more collector, and a bit more healer. Do you want to do a couple more waves? Yeah, if you don't want to go to bed. I might have to dip. Um, yeah, I don't feel like you have to stay late. for over yeah. long. Thank you very much for joining. Um, it's been a fucking blast. That's ah, all good. Yeah, Tommy it's good to hang with you guys. Yet. Nice to meet you, Tom, Boat. Yeah, nice to meet you too. And, um, cool. Wish you the best of luck. Hopefully, the people you get know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play uh, Monster crossed. Hunter soon. Or Apex or something. Yeah. One or the other or both. Sounds good. I'm, I'm into it. Hell yeah. Cool. Catch cool. you guys later. Have a good weekend if I don't see you sooner. You too. Bye bye. Yeah, Tommy, you don't, uh, Tomu, you don't have to stay. Um, Tom, Bowser, I'm going to go sit in here and just, like, load up for healer. Oh, oh Dolly you, still doing more Bob Assault. I just type healer here, need team. Go with this guy. I could do a whole wave with this random guy. You can do another another day you're hungry. Yeah, go 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 ahead, Tommy. Are you staying, Tom Bowser, or are you off? Um, well, I think it's going to be difficult to get both of us in in the um, same team. Um, this guy needs a three and four. Okay. What did you need? Oh, I need a bit of a lot of things except defender. So. Or just just call it. Like to here. Maybe the guy will invite you. No, actually, this is a collector. What else did you need? Do you want to be an attacker? Um, I only need one point for attacker. So I could. Well, just, uh, just call out that you need what things you need. I can't believe I didn't get points enough in each of them, because I remember last time we did this, I think I smashed it. I had like 400 points in each. Whose team are you in? I'm in Dob Rilab. It's this guy with the uh, obby inverted cape. You want to ask him? Or... There you are. Am I again? Here.
guess you don't have to be in voice with people for this sort of thing. Especially like the early waves. I think I think it really like matters that your defender isn't terrible. It, it helps that people know what they're doing. Yeah. Is there another uh, just a penance runner? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter to us if it gets away, right? It's his points that go down, right? Yeah. I do find that Defender is the most exhausting role. Collector's fairly easy. Attacker's easy. Collector's so much. <laughs> it's like a stupid class. Hmm. Is he dropping any food on the floor? I think so. Just... It's just not rendering for us. No. There we go. You got it. I mean, I still don't have enough points, so I'll stick around. I'll stay with them until the group. Like disbands. I don't want to be the guy to leave just because I got enough stuff, you know. Yeah. Plus, um, you need the elite diary anyway. See why people get really toxic in games like League of Legends? If this is like a MOBA light, like super light, and I'm getting a little annoyed that he's not calling out what I need to do. <laughs> I can totally see it. Why people want to have single player runescape. No, oh, there's team playing. Well, I think it's good that there's still a couple of forced things, just to make you pretend you're playing an MMO, right? Yeah, I think raids are good. That you have to work together in order to get the best stuff in the game. Yeah. I know if you are really good, you can do it on your own. I think it's still quite quite inefficient to do it by yourself. Hmm. It's just possible. It, like I think solo cox requires solo cox. Solo cox requires like um, deep knowledge of like the tick system and like where to stand right. Come on, guy. You can do it. <laughs> we could just egg him. Yeah, Yo, egg the last one. I could probably level up. Are you leveling up? Do you have excess points? Uh, not yet, but I probably will. How much is leveling up? Uh, 200, at least initially. Oh shit. Enjoying this. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a Neopets game. <laughs> There's something so, like, kind of, like, quaint about it, right? Mm. It's very like this... old content. It's old content, the stakes are so low, but the rewards are so stupidly high. <laughs> It feels so like ridiculous that it's the best in slot top for me for the next like three years <laughs> from this fucking silly game. I love that shit. Oh, I've got 15 penalties, no wonder my points are so shit.
Oops, I forgot my rule. Sorry that I haven't been um, playing stuff with you lately, Tom. That's alright. Like everything else, I've been putting it off. Because, uh, <laughs> oh, once I get a flat... Implying that, like, me playing video games every day, I don't have enough time to play games. But, you know... I have, like, a mental block right now on starting anything new, or doing anything mm. exotic. Um, There's so many games. Other than that, yeah. I just... I feel like I... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's an odd feeling. I'm basically procrastinating doing anything. I don't know Do why. You really have a full-time job and you stream every day, so it's... Oh, it's like... Uh, I'm sorry that like I, I, we haven't been able to play like Deep Rock or anything. It's not like we couldn't have done that any other day. It's been a bit weird about it. That's alright. I would like to do more collaborative stuff when I'm in my flat, my new flat. Whatever that is. Where would you want to move near where your work is? Oh yeah. It's uh, it's hybrid, which I didn't realise. I thought it was full office, but apparently it's actually two days from home. But, um, it's a little out of the way. Mm. It's miles away from where we live now, we'd have to completely relocate. But it's, um... It's in like an industrial sector of the country. It's not it's not somewhere we'd live next to. So ideally I'd like to live in a nearby city. Mm. Um, especially because now we kind of have the... I get to choose where to live after knowing where I'll work, so we, we can sort of prioritise it. Try and find somewhere near a train station hopefully, or, or connected. Any RuneScape games in in recent times? Um, hmm. have a look. I've been doing a shit ton of quests. I was really putting off doing all the favor because I knew they were going to remove it, but I didn't know when. Um, I ended up doing Ar Arceus the other day just to get the portal. But yeah, I guess um, I got portals in my house. Oh yeah. I put, I put up uh, the Karend portal. I put up the Salve Graveyard and um, Lunar Isle. Really cool, so now I can get like a bank from my house. I put a... It let me do Slayer, basically. I did this because I got a Bloodveld task in... Uh, Karend. Which Slayer Master do you use? Um, I was doing Konar, because I was like, oh, I can get maybe magic logs. Hey, Lily. Um, do you have the Battlefront teleport? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use, um... That's a really good one for getting to Konar. Well, I was just gonna use the... Oh, fuck. Uh, fairy, fairy ring, ring. yeah. I am. I'm really poor. Like making another teleport room, I can't afford it. I I had 110k earlier. I spent 95k of that on the um, uh, trap broken. Where's our defender? <laughs> to be struggling. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I got that. Um, I'm currently m m getting up to 58 Hunter, so I can just catch... Uh, is it not Essence? Nature Implings? Uh, nature Implings. Yeah. Um, they are quite rare, though. That's the only problem. If you're uh, magic locks. They shouldn't be that bad. There's, um, there's a couple of spawns, I think, that are... Yeah. You're in the same room as us. Did you did it kill did it kick you when I got DC'd? No, we, we completed the you game. Finished. Oh nice. Um do you wanna switch to uh I only need to do uh, Defender now. Um I mean, you could have two defenders, I guess. I could be healer. Yeah.
I mean, I'd need so I only need like ten points on defender. We could just go back to wave one. We might as well finish off this one um, um, with maybe. this team we've got, and then. <laughs> three eight, three six seven, four thirteen. Um, I had a, I did my first master clue today. Oh, grats! What did you get? Uh, oh no, you should post it on Discord. It was awful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've been keeping it in my bank. Hey, that's a lot of Limpwort roots. That's good uh, herb lore, isn't it? Yeah, but I can get a lot of herb lore, um, get a lot of Limpwort roots from farming, so oh. very disappointing for my first master clue that I've been holding on to for a while. But yeah. How do you afford yeah. miscellanea, by the way? Uh, like, how do you keep it up? It's great for it. Um, like gargoyles, get lots of alks. When did you start doing miscellanea? I mean, it's advisable to do it as soon as possible whenever you have like a spare mill lying around. Dump it in the in the in the kingdom. Yeah. Have we lost someone? Yeah, it looks like someone's left. Newbie is gone. I kind of hate that this is how it's it works. Yeah. I'll stick with them until it dies again. Okay. Yeah. I want to get enough to get the the torso and then. What was the guy Dora Lev? Dora Lev in here. Uh, yeah, he's invited me. Yeah, he's got the, the red obby cape. He's, uh... Oh, he's here. Where's he gone? Is he's he underneath someone? Oh. There we go. We just need anyone, then. Yeah. Um, I'm doing okay, thank you, Lily. Sorry, um, or another th I didn't bring it up about the cupboard, but um, I'm like, everything's so tight packed together, the ethernet cable's under my chair, so I constantly pull it out, because the clip on the end of the ethernet cable's broken, and I haven't been able to replace it with a new one. So occasionally I just pull the ethernet cable out. <laughs> Remember what I need to do as healer. Need to poison the air healers. Oh, someone's walked up the middle, haven't they? Your goals for RuneScape, just 
enjoy myself. Just have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna stop when I stop having fun. That's that's it. I'm only doing membership one month at a time because I think a bit of a trap I fell into last time was um, I bought like the full year because it was cheap. Yeah. And I felt for a bit like I was playing just because I had to because I paid for it. Mm. So I'm just not going to do that. I, I know it's more expensive, but like I don't want to have it there and not want to play it, you know? Mm. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I think I'm currently looking for Quest Cape as a short-term goal, because that's what I did in my other account. Okay. And I enjoyed that. Um, I'd like to get Achievement Diaries done as well. I'm a lot more open to, like, a stupid grind now. <laughs> mm. um, as you already know, I did um, Maze Training Arena, which I never did before. I did, like, a little bit and I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I just, you know, just sat down, grabbed... Um, What's it called? Um, Bones to Peaches. I could see myself getting uh, the the wand if I had to in the future. Not not right now, but um, I could at least get the boots because I think the boots are faster How than the Bones to Peaches. Is it just accuracy or it's just it accuracy. Accurate? They're not they're not important. Um, it's a cool fashion scape item, and as an Iron Man, they it's kind of nice. To, um... Eternals. Yep. Yeah. But that's. That's not for a really long time. Hey, no, I'm sorry I haven't been reading your comment lately. You got your initial certificate today for Linux networking modules and building and configuring OpenWRT Linux distribution. Oh, you're certified! Certified nerd. Beautiful. A nerd in your chat? I can't believe it. I can't believe there's a software developer nerd in my chat. <laughs> you do Linux networking, you got your payment for two months' work you put in last summer. That's awesome. You have gold, Bowser, in OSRS. I'd like to do raids. I'd like to at least try a raid, because I did a raid on, on the main, and I enjoyed that. Um, um, I'd like to try an Iron Man raid as well. Yeah. Just I mean, one. I, one of each. I'm enjoying filling out the collection log. And do you being do an Iron Man. Sorry, go on. No, 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 sorry, I, I spoke over you. Uh, being an Iron, I've been doing... Things I wouldn't normally do. So yeah, it's nice to branch out my my skills in RuneScape. I mean, I didn't have a fire cape on the main. I didn't really go to DKs at all. Yeah, I, I think it's really cool that you got the Berserker ring. I was lucky that I got them early, especially the Ranger ring. Did you get one of each? I've got all the rings. That's really cool. Um, which is very lucky. Hey! Still did the content. Yeah. You still fought the boss. And I'd like to be able to do God Wars on my own at some stage. God Wars solo would be sick, but I feel like you need... Just, it's just a stat check, right? Like, at some point, you can have all the skill in the world, but it'll just take forever without decent gear. Mm. And some of that gear is from God Wars. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, having at least, like, a Zami Spear is such a big upgrade for a lot of the content. Hmm. Yeah, Zami Spear. Bandos. Armor. Bandos, of course, yeah. Um. This is going pretty well. I think I'm a pretty decent little defender. It's not so hard once you get into, like, a rhythm of it. Yeah, once you know what you're doing and you keep an eye on the traps and... Whether yeah, I'm they, learning now. Uh... I think at higher levels, the traps last longer. Oh, that would make sense. So you actually just become... Is that why they only want people to have level 5 in each role before doing, um... Boosting. 
it's just like better. Yeah, you get you can do it quicker. Time is money. Yeah, I mean they they charge a lot for a, a chess piece. Yeah. Have you seen um It's like fifty Coxie, mil sometimes, isn't it? Uh Coxie funny feelings series. That's speed maybe. running gang pets. Yeah. And the way he got loads of money to buy the best gear was from... Oh, I think I did watch that. Yeah, he was doing um, boosts. Yeah, he was earning ridiculous amounts of money doing Barb Assault. Because it's that... Because everyone makes a fucking Iron Man now, especially after Leagues. And so many people have a main with like hundreds of mil. Like, I have 100, 100 mil in my main. It's not going to do anything. Mm. If I cared less... and or I like Barb Assault, so I don't mind doing it. I don't think it's worth 50 mil to skip doing it. I think the content's cool. But if there was an ability to like skip doing like mage training arena for like my mains bank, I'd do it. I consider it. It's not doing anything. Oh, sorry. Not paying attention. I get that it ruins the point of doing an Iron Man if you get someone to help you with it, but it is still an MMO at the end of the day. We I think it's fine. You get someone to help you. Yeah, I'm wondering how I feel about how back in the day people would go to TOB and just to get stamina potions on the iron. I don't know how I feel about that, because I I'm not gonna get the stamina pool for so long. I keep meaning to go and kill that um that Chaos Druid that always drops a tool stall. To get a bunch of them, just so I can get the Doctor Jackal random event to give me staminas. That's yeah, what you're meant to I do mean, to get the pool. It took me ages to get the herb law level, but makes yeah. such a difference having a stamina pool right by your home teleport. Did you get the herbal level to do stamps? I did, yeah, and I boosted it with a botanical pie. Yeah. reading the word I'm meant to be saying and using it to feed the healers. The healers. The healers, yes. You're really smart, Lindley. You know that. You're going from talking about your tiny little projects on Discord to talking about your networking Qualification. Very impressive. I need a call. Okay. Sorry. Are we calling for each other? Yeah, defender and healer call for That's each other. That's pretty good to combo up then. There's a penance runner. Doesn't help that our one of our attackers only has 60 HP. How much is it? Um, you'll be developing working on four mobile applications in your break after finals. It's a certificate that you did field training in that expert, it's not you being an expert. Dude, having any certificate's cool. Don't down yourself. Having an official qualification is just pretty sick. Sorry, I was drinking beer. That's alright. I've got a- to celebrate, I've got a brew dog double hazy. And so there's also a Guinness in the fridge, which I thought I'd get to, but I've actually been sipping this so slowly I'm not going to have the other one today. Is it- are these attacking? Are they the healers? The healer needs to come. Who's the healer? That's me. Oh. Poison me. I've run out. Sorry. You did mention that you read the kernel docs and a couple of books on the Linux networking stack. Okay, no. That's pretty sick. 
You've officially become an adult. When was your birthday? Are you 18 or 21? I don't remember where you were from. You've been taxed on your wages. Wait, do teenagers not get taxed on their wages? I guess they can't make much. If you were like a teenager and you made a trillion pounds out of like Bitcoin, do you just get that? You don't get taxed on that. Would it be tax avoidance to run it through your like teenage son and pretend that he owns all the Bitcoins? Just to avoid paying taxes? Or is that horrifically illegal? <laughs> Doesn't sound very legal, does it? I'm gonna be hearing this fucking song for my entire life. Oh, sorry, it's meat. It's meat. The haters defender that the the trap takes so long to repair. Yeah. I enjoy. How is these defenders going down the middle? I feel like people are running in the middle of the screen. Oh, oh the trap's broken, fuck. Come back, you idiot. Is there a defender by the... Oh no, here he is. Oh uh, yeah, there's one coming back up. Where's he going? It's not broken. You can, you can get in the trap, it's okay. Here we go. Both of them are a bit low level. That's okay. As long as you're 18 you get taxed. You were 21 in December. Oh, sorry, did I miss your birthday? I must have been away. It was a 20% tax. Lindley, do not Google Dutch income tax. You will freak the fuck out. It's almost 50%. <laughs> it's like 40-something it's like percent. Majority of my income goes to, to taxes. Not the majority, but like almost almost half of it. But then as a result the Netherlands has a lot of social shit, so it's a great place to be an old rich person, I've been told. to get people on the trap, I just need to make sure I can repair it.
At least you know they're going towards stuff. They're going towards like the rich boomers that are destroying the housing market and the Gen Xs. So I'm I'm paying for those people to continue to live a comfortable life, which I'm not that fond of, I'll be honest. But um, because I've paid taxes, I've gotten uh, the doll. I couldn't get that when I first moved here as unemployed, so that's, that's a benefit. I only get it for three months, but whatever. It's better than zero. Oh my god, they're going by the entrance? Yeah. I let him through. Well, I don't even need the points. Me letting him through doesn't really. Did I not call me? Sorry. You need to be something bad. Uh, Pretty stupid for wearing that granite body, by the way. Sorry. I feel pretty stupid for wearing the granite body. I keep running out of run energy. <laughs> when else are you gonna wear it unless you become a green dragon bot? Green dragons, dude. How do you think I'm gonna get 70 pro? How did you get 70 pro? Um, I think gradually. Um, sorry, talking and gaming is. Same it's difficult. Hey, you're learning. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I used um, what is it called? The uh, Yakdo fungus quite a lot. You didn't go well, do? You? I did a bit. I love the curse also. You can note bones and send them and do them all in one go. I was always terrified of getting PK'd. With all, my, with all my bones. Wait. You, do you do the noting at the Chaos Altar? Because that's terrifying. I would know that. I mean, I don't, but you can do. Yeah, I think you need good tank gear for that, though, if you don't. And you need to go while the PK is a, a sleeper at work. Yeah. Shima, were you playing Overwatch this weekend? It's quicker play. Probably not. Probably be playing um, Lethal Cup. This is going better than expected. Yeah, healer always slows down a bit towards the end because I can't deal enough damage and yeah. these two, uh, we have a level 67 and always seems to yeah, run out of cool. health so I have to look after him as well. Oh sorry, Tofu. So it's Tofu. Oh lord. Could you uh, call for us? Oh sorry. I was busy healing the attackers. Okay. I'm actually out of Tofu, so... Grab more. this guy always dying? Got green dehyde on. His defense level's probably really low.
Oh, I got the runners. You don't need to call me anymore, I got the runners. Okay, yeah, both of these attackers are a bit useless. Okay, I'll shoot all the um, healer things. No eggs left. Collector doesn't seem to be collecting a lot of eggs. Guess I just sit patiently. <laughs> You'll be on the lethal payroll for friend. It's fun, right? Yeah, the guy's got 50 defense. He's got like 50 melee stats and 60 range, so he's probably just taking a lot of damage from that, right? One right, thieving. So it seems like order. Order. I need a I call. Oh, sorry. Um, I was looking at the guy's account. It looks like he was recently uh, membered. Like all of his free-to-play stats are like 50s, and all of his um, members ones are quite low. So I'm thinking he like just recently got a bond. song. So many songs called like Scape something. Hmm. I'm gonna play Spirit. Is this the one on the waterfall? No. What's the waterfall? Actually no, Spirit's nice. I was into Spirit. The Varrock song. Dude, Spirit is such a fucking good song. You had a really long modded RO2 run today, it was very cursed. What was going on? What mods do you have? Here's some tofu. I can't believe we're going to get to wave 10 with a bunch of randoms. That's incredible. Me. I'm with me on fucking Defender. I spent my Barrow's Glud budget on the fucking <laughs> granite. Five points there. Oh shit, yeah. I feel... Bunch of mods that add more items, more void items. You have Samus. Oh, meat. That's sorry. Nice. That's sick. Does she have a morph ball?
Okay. Is this thing broken? Yeah. Oh shit. Attacker's dying. Oh, he's dying really quick. Man, your job's hard this time. I know. Warpaw's a thing and you can use it to trimp. She's also immune to burn. Whoa. Immune to burn. I killed all the runners. I guess if all the runners are dead, I can deposit all this stuff to get a bit more weight back. I hope the... Uh... The low level guy doesn't die and touch the queen. Very frustrating. I think he'll be okay. Every stage you did 50 plus shrines of the mountain. Oh my god. Wait. A mod that turns everything into a dank meme. There's league items. You had. 46 stacks of a burn that does 2.5%. Uh, I need a call. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you learned having 69 Shrine of the Mountain breaks the game and doesn't spawn a boss. We used to get that with just a couple of Shrines of the Mountain. Um, sometimes the boss would just spawn under the level. So apparently if you like spam a prayer as she's coming up through, you can um animation stall her for a second. I think the granite chest place is kinda nice here. Although I do feel like I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna can you heal yourself, or do I need the healer to heal me? Yeah. having trouble with the uh, egg. Oh. oh. Can you heal us up? Who's the collector? Oh, Tom, I'm on 18. Um, I need two healers for this. Yeah. Who's the collector? I've got a load of them, but I can't heal anyone because I'm, everyone's dying. I have the egg. I just I have the finished egg. Let's just go spam. Oh god, the low level died. I'll go healer, I guess. No, I can't go healer.
Are this like one hour, um, one hour <laughs> Bavarian Assault has been nearly a four hour stream. But you've had fun, haven't you? I've had a lot of fun. I think it's a good, good game mode. I dread having to come back here for the Elite Diary. That won't be for years. No. Fuck, I forgot to pick up the... I think I clicked on the, uh, the healer instead of the... It didn't help that the collector took, like, a million eggs and gave them all to me at the... But I'm complaining. I did so well as the the defender last time. I got them all so quick. I know. What are you playing as now? Still playing the defender. But I okay. let a bunch of them run past. I guess a part of it is just the AI is doing something different this time. But still kind of hate. I don't have a hammer. That's no wonder it's not been getting repaired. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. are dead so you don't have to worry about falling for me. My dude Probably is not following. Head. It's just this one. He's just ignoring the shit I'm putting down. There we go. I bet this was made by some intern in like a day. <laughs> I love that nothing gives you XP as well, just in case people would, would play this for fun. Nice try. What's the song that plays when you're at um, Otto's Grotto? I love Village as well. But this guy's like wet tissue makes so much damage. <laughs> he's got he's got fifty defense. I know he should be able to tank more, but do you have enough after this? I have like six hundred points now. <laughs> <laughs> Just, um... I 
think I should follow the collector around doing things so much damage. This is the bit that sucks, because this is not explained anywhere very well, I think. You have to read the... Thing is, the attacker should be giving them to you. Said go. Oh. Okay. At least we did a decent amount of damage. I think having two healers is really helping this time. Yeah, it makes such a difference. I didn't realise this guy was going to be paper shredded with his like green dehyde, or how important it was for me to actually wear this granite body. <laughs> I was going to just wear like graceful, but like it actually matters quite a lot. Yeah, I was thinking about wearing graceful, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh, you can just send it. Let's go! Oh dear, that was an ordeal. Oh, I still don't have enough points. I need some collector points. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm now 393, 695, 418, 389. Do you get a bit of points in the other roles as you play? Yeah, you get five points. Um, for completing the whole thing. Oh, I might have once. might have been able to get away with just doing Defender the whole time then, I guess. I'm gonna buy my fucking torso. Amir. You do that. Let's go! Nice, well done. Let's go! <laughs> The Yankee guy also just got their torso. Yeah. Alright, nice strife. Nice Thanks for the games. Yeah. GG. GG. I hope you can get a, a one quick browser. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it another time. You could just do a couple wave ones, maybe. If I have 300 points, can I just send it on something? I mean, you can save up for the other collection box. So you can. Level I could level up. up. For the oh. I'll level up. Lower range 5 seems important. I've leveled up. 
Hang on, how do you gamble? Uh, you have it's one of the rewards. Oh, I I didn't buy that. I don't have enough now. No, I've uh, leveled I think up. It's only worth for the high level gambles. High level gambles are good, right? I think there are some decent things in there, but you you only really do it when you want the pet. Or Dude, you that's sick. Torso. Completed everything else and got nothing to spend the points on. It's also adding a granite body. What a fucking day. You're gonna keep it or you're gonna alk it? The body? I guess I. No, I'm not gonna alk it. I'd lose like 50k. <laughs> I'm keeping this shit. Until you get barrows. Uh, I think I'll still keep it anyway. Crosslet body, you go. I guess I can get rid of the monk's top. I'm not really using that these days. Uh, that's nice. Good upgrade. No. Stuff just doesn't want to move to the end of the line. Weird. A lot. Um, okay, cool. I need... I guess I'll just put the rune legs there for now. I guess that's just what I'm wearing, huh? Man, that's sick. Look at this. I love fighter torso rune plate legs. Quite the mood. It, they look like trousers, I think. Yog, look out! Look, um, out there. I don't have a cape on. I need to get a fire cape. I need to wait for a while to get a fire cape. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Uh, yeah, Stat nor equipment wise. Is. I'd like some blessed dehyde and some like at least broad bolts. Um, I'm not going to do it with a bone crossbow, I'm not that crazy. I'm sure I could, but... You're not that much of a gamer. I don't know what my max hit is now. Be higher. <laughs> and melee strength plus four. Sick. Well, that was, that was very successful. Wow, 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 wow. Well, well anyway, uh, I'm going to head off for today. Thanks everyone in chat for watching. Thanks Tom for playing. I'm going to disappear. Okay. Have a nice uh, evening. Good night, Willem. Good night, chat. Good night. Good night. Good night.